All right. <clears throat> well, make sure we're streaming. Yeah, looks like we are. Welcome back to the uh, <laughs> series of Iron Man, all the Fire Emblem games. Obviously, last time um, things did not go too well for us as we lost Raven Guy and Sane, who all seem to be uh, pretty important in our plan. Welcome to Fire Emblem Stream. Well, it's good to be here, Matt. Uh, so now we have to figure out exactly how we're going to kill Kashuna, if we're going to kill Kashuna. I think the correct answer at this stage is we're just not going to kill Kashuna, but you never know. Um, so I think my plan at the moment, I was skimming through some of the YouTube comments that I got in the last video, and some people were suggesting um, uh, if you get to S with Lances, you get some hit and crit bonus, and also potentially Lin Florina. Maybe, I think Lin makes some sense to me because Lin is the last crit option that we have, and unless we're gonna hope for like a 10% crit or something, which doesn't seem very consistent. YOLO, exactly. Um, now again, if we can't do Kishuna, it's not the end of the world, but I think Lin might be her best bet, which is really sad to say, but. Fargus' ship sails around, sails along smoothly. I like that Hector is just in the middle of the ocean right now. It doesn't appear to be any boat around him. At last, they spot a fog in enshrouded isle on the horizon. According to Layla's information, the enemy is gathering there. Darren, the Marquess of Laos, the Black Fang Assassins, the mysterious Nurgle, and his henchman, Ephidel. Oh, in that picture, he had a thing over his face. Just saying is we're Lin Gaming. I think we're going to have to be Lin Gaming. I well, Lin is the last, like, high crit weapon thing that we actually have available. Now the question is, can Lin become strong enough to do anything in two? Because I think it's two chapters, right? It's this, it's this boat chapter, and then it's Yuhai, I think, and then I think it's that chapter. So, yeah, welcome, Wheelie. Welcome. Uh, as the island draws closer, Hector hears death whispering on the wind. He hears death. Wh what does death whispering on the wind sound like exactly? <clears throat> I'm not sure I've ever heard that myself. Elliewood, huh? If you're looking for Elliewood, he's talking with the captain. Oh, I won't bother him then. Do you need something? I'd like you to <laughs> I'd like you to stop pouting. This pirate ship is the only way for us to get to the Dread Isle. I thought you understood that. Was I mistaken? <laughs> what a dick. How I feel or what I think is of no concern of yours. Elliewood told me about your parents and those bandits. But these pirates, they don't seem like bad fellows. It wasn't just my parents. My entire tribe, everyone was killed. They poisoned our drinking water. My people were in such pain, they could hardly stand. That's when the bandits attacked. They waited until we were defenseless. My father put me on his horse and I escaped. Just me. My poor father, the pain must have been terrible. He lifted me up, his arms shaking with his last breath. Now do you understand? I was found unconscious by another tribe and I awoke ten days later. When I awoke, what I felt. The bodies of my people had already been buried. I never uh, even had the chance to say farewell. My last memory of my father. He was broken, dying. Jesus Christ! I can still see the axes rising and falling. It, it's not... Christ almighty. The whispers of Raven Guy insane. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> it sounds like all the guy in Rage of a Sword Slayer. How could this possibly go wrong? <laughs> it's okay, Blue Guy got completely obliterated. Yeah, that was obviously my bad. I like... Man, the problem, like, I don't use Mermanons or Swordmasters in this game. I mean, Guy's the only one available, so, like, I genu- Like, I couldn't have even told you that that Sword Slayer was going to be effective. I thought it was just going to be Weapon Triangle. Yeah, that was- that was crazy. Up to Guy Insane. Yeah, Vin, it was- it was rough last night. It, uh... It was, yeah, a lot of mistakes were made, let's just say that. I could have kept Sane alive, too. I actually didn't go back and rewatch the footage, but I'm pretty sure Sane got really unlucky, because I think he got hit by, like, four 30% or something. But, yeah, I probably could have kept him alive more efficiently, but... Uh, what? What are you doing? You're a strong woman, Lindis. I thought you would not want to see, uh, want anyone to see you cry. You're such a fool. Do you think that's what I want? That's why... Then why not just leave? I, I lost my parents, too. You... It was illness that took them. Nothing like what happened to you. Still, I wanted nothing more than to cry like a little baby. <laughs> Wham! And yet I couldn't cry, not in front of others. 
And when I was alone, I found I still couldn't. So I simply thought, I don't know. You really are a fool. That's no way to... You can't just... Wow, these two are really good at uh, showing their emotions. Oh, hey, there's a small uh, there's a small dory adrift to port. Someone's on board. Tell the captain. <laughs> yeah, Wheelie, there was no big brain strat. In fact, it was about the smallest brain strat that uh, I possibly could have thought of. I just didn't, yeah, I didn't realize that it was a sword slayer. And the fact that there's sword slayers and sword reavers in this game, I mean, it's a little annoying, but... A boat? What's going on? Let's go see. Is Ninian just, like, dead? Ellywood, you done uh, talking to old man Fergus? You saw us? No, I heard you'd gone off with him. You learn anything? We can trust him. We got lucky finding him. Mm, if you say so. Hey, you two, come here. The, we've, uh, they've pulled the dory aboard. I wonder who's on board. It's, it's a girl. Oh, Ninian was on board the door. Okay, I'm like, why is, why is pro Ninian just in the middle of our boat? Uh, oh, are you there? Me? Give me a hand, will you? I don't know where to grab her. <laughs> okay. Such a gentleman. <laughs> Stow it. Such a gentleman. Fortune strength 11 speed at level 10. Man, feels bad. Sane is a beast. It's a shame our Sane uh, is no longer with us. Trying to get the shooting chapter. Do you think learning to support? Yeah, it will be helpful. Um, you rise well from you, hi. Wait. Steal the Orion's bow from Yuhai and lure him to use his bows and then kill him. So you get the killing. Oh! That I didn't think about. Yeah, Lord Genesis. No, that's a really cool idea. I don't. The problem at this point is I'm not really sure who can even use a killing edge. I guess Marcus still could. That's a really cool idea. Scarface 2024 featuring Kashuna. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hmm, Ninian. Ninian, wake up. Unbelievable. What are the chances? Do you know her? Uh, she's how Lindis and I met a year back. I rescued Ninian from a band of villains. Please, Ninian, open your eyes. Uh, Ninian, can you hear me? Uh, uh, are you well? Why are you on this boat? Where's Nils? Why wasn't he with you? Uh, uh, <laughs> Ninian, <laughs> Linda, something's wrong with her. Who, who? I don't think she remembers us, Lynn. Captain! Pirate ships approaching from the northwest. Do they dare attack Captain Fargus and the Davros crew? They must be mad. What flag are they flying? I've never seen that pattern before. Uh, these seas belong to us. Whoever they are, they're in our waters. This is the day for strange occurrences, it seems. You whelps watch your own hides. We've no time to waste on you. Ah! <laughs> water! The hull's been breached. We're taking on water. Breached! These scum are more dangerous than I thought. It's bad, Captain. We need all hands below decks, or we'll sink. Take care of it. I'm gonna carve these scallywags some new gizzards. We need your help. The water's up to the galley. You must come below, Captain. Urgh. Fargus, leave the enemy to us. Fighting is something we're good at. I Did you watch the last chapter? I'm not sure that's true. But a sinking ship, that's your affair. You have something to do, or we'll, we'll all drown. We'll deal with things up here. Please hurry. Fine, the deck is yours. I'll be back as soon as I can, or as soon as we plug the breach in the hull. Go. Look, I've seen Fargus' stats. I think it might be better if he uh, stays up with me. Does Matthew have enough speed? I think so. Our Matthew's actually like pretty cracked as far as speed goes. Uh, I can check what speed Yuha usually has. I don't know why I close Farmel WOD, because I just open it every time we stream, but... I also, I should just favorite it, to be honest. Okay, let me see. Blazing Blade... Chapter 19, I think? Yeah, actually, chapter 19. Oh, he only has 12 speed. Yeah, we could definitely steal it, for sure. Ooh, ooh, woo! I've been breached! <laughs> Let's take her to that room. I will. Here they come. I don't think I... I don't think I want to know how this... How we got breached. All we want is that girl. Kill the rest. Unfortunately, we don't get Ninian on this chapter. Oh, that's weird. Wait, wait, hold on. Sorry, give me one second. What the hell? Um, how do I...
Where's the option for... Am I just blind? Where's the option for... My controller... Oh, settings maybe? Uh, oh, here we go, okay. Game plan. Here we go, controller... Okay, B. E. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so I'm, I'm using a different controller today than I normally use, and all the buttons work correctly, except for some reason I can't hit the B button. I'm not sure why. I guess it thinks that the B button on this controller is different than the B button on my other controller? I, I don't know why that would be the case, but whatever. She is a little tired. <laughs> Often need their beauty sleep. It's fair. I can, I can respect that. I mean, Indian has to, has to court uh, Ellie Wood. And I'm sure that'll end well. You don't need a million lockpicks. Nadine has that brain. I got that brain damage. Too many concussions. Uh, okay, we want Kanas. The only like problem with Kanas is that he's not really going to help us on the one chapter we need him to help us. There is also the option of Oswin. Like, uh, promoted Oswin can potentially hit pretty darn hard. So we have Oswin, Marcus, Florina, and then potentially Lynn on that chapter. That could be an option. So I guess it's, I guess maybe we wait to train Kanas and I do go the Lynn route. We need to bring Lynn if we want to do the support between Lynn and Florina. So Lynn is currently... <laughs> Lin currently has six strength. How much um, might does the Manicotti have? Eight. That's pretty good. So that means 14. How much defense? Doesn't Kishuna have like a million defense though? It's 13. So, okay, so currently she deals one damage. That's not exactly inspiring information. <laughs> Yeah, we that's that's a good point. We need we need to bring Matthew for sure because we need that Elysian Whip and the Guiding Ring, but mostly the Elysian Whip, um, which I believe the Pegasus over here has. Yeah, and then yeah, the boss has a Guiding Ring. The Guiding Ring is a little iffy. It depends on the way this chapter plays out. I don't always get the Guiding Ring. Obviously, you should get the Guiding Ring if you can, but it's a little yeah, it's a little sketchy um, because the boss is really scary and. Um, and trying to get to him can also be kind of tough. Um, okay, give me one second. Let me see. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna go Lynn Florina. The, the problem, too, is that we can't really build support on this chapter. Like, we only have one chapter to build Florina Lynn support, and that's the next chapter. I mean, I guess hypothetically I could also do the support on the final chapter. So, hypothetically we get it to A, but it's more likely we'll get it to, like, B. Unless I can build that, but I don't think we have enough turns to build it on this chapter is the problem. I don't need two healers if I want to bring somebody else. Like, I could bring Kanaz. It is nice to have two healers. No, I like bringing two healers in this chapter. So this chapter, obviously I'm talking about the Kashuna chapter, like we're already there, but, um... I can't speak to Javid's dancing capabilities. Ninia might be slightly superior in that regard, but, uh... Um... But yeah, the, this chapter can be pretty annoying because these Pegasus Knights can push your uh healers in the back which is the reason that i think bringing two healers here is really important part of the problem with this chapter too for our purposes is that actually training units is not easy because there's a lot of units and they're really tough so i don't really know how much we're gonna do be able to do with lynn but we'll do our best the problem too actually now that i think about it it's not gonna work at all right because this chapter we only get like 10 turns the next chapter we're on a time limit to kill you high to actually get the guidance chapter Because I think you have to complete that chapter in yeah in 15 turns in order to get the guidance chapter. So we actually really have no ability to grind any more support at this point. That's kind of a bummer. So Florina is currently A, but she can't get to S. Marcus can get to S, so potentially get that boost we were talking about. Yeah, she's gonna be tough. This is not looking great. Um. Yeah, I don't think we're really going to be able to build any support at this point. 
Well, screw it. I could promote Oswin right now and try to get him to S with Lances, but I think potentially getting a couple more points of strength could, could be good too. I don't know, maybe we need that crit. Maybe we need the crit, maybe we don't. I really don't know. We probably need it. Um, okay, I think we're good to go other than that. Relationship with an armor slot. Yeah, you definitely have to be careful with this chapter. Pinna, what is it? No, I'm fine. I'm not seasick at all. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> okay, thank you, Priscilla, for letting me know. <laughs> I wasn't really concerned about that, but. Oh, hey, we'll leave the fighting to you. Hold on until we can help. Oh, and we've merchants aboard. This is the armory. This is the shop. You won't be able to stock up once we reach the Dread Isle. I suggest you buy as much as possible while, we, while you've a chance. Yeah, this is going to be um, really useful because we do need to buy some stuff. No one asks Priscilla. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know why. Is there like a lore reason that Priscilla is like seasick? I don't know why she randomly told me that. No offense, Priscilla, but yeah, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I have bigger concerns at the moment. Yeah, we need to buy javelins. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do this. I wouldn't mind doing this chapter at least kind of quickly, just because, again, to get the Guiding Ring, you kind of do have to do it quickly. And we are training Kanas, and then we do have Sarah and Priscilla, and I wouldn't mind promoting all of them if we can in the end. Um, so Guiding Rings are kind of useful for us. You can get there though right now. It's probably not great for me. Steel Bow is 18 might, so that's 24 attack, yeah. But I can pick up Florina, so this makes some sense. Can you pick up Florina? Oh my god, Florina must weigh like nothing. If even Lin can do it. Here, let's do Priscilla though instead, because I want... Uh, no. No, 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 here. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Okay, that works. That works. Uh, okay, your guys' range. This one we can fight. This one doesn't really matter. In fact, the Elysium chip damage is probably good. This one we don't want to fight yet because yeah, he has the Elysian whip. Okay, I think I'm good other than that. Yeah. Now, of course, as I've said a bunch of times, if we can't do the Kashuna chapter, it isn't the end of the world. We can still obviously continue on the playthrough. Did I listen to it? Yeah, it's really nice to have that. There's a good chance that Marcus dies here, right? Can you stop getting hit by everything? Uh, yeah, this is a little awkward for sure. Watch Marcus just immediately die in this chapter. I kind of, I just, ex I expected the shamans to actually attack Oswin instead because he has a lot less res, but if they can kill Marcus, they will attack him. Yeah, okay. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. Never mind. Yeah, the, the Marcus actually has like really good res. This is one of the things like, even in the end game, Marcus is like base, I think it's like eight or nine. I think it's eight is actually like even really solid for that point in the game. Base eight res. Yeah. Oh, is it eight? Yeah. No, 8 res is really, really good. Also, the archer can't even get there because of the way the uh, the shamans position themselves, so it's fine. Unfortunately, our javelin... Osman just doubled that guy, by the way. Our javelin situation is not very plentiful, so Marcus doesn't currently have one, but... Okay. Yeah, these guys are really, really annoying. Um... Okay, let me... Here, take... Take this javelin. I'm going to back up. And then, yeah, um, I guess kill the archer is pretty annoying. I hope I can do everything I want to do this turn. It's a good mess, because I think even with... No, men should be enough to full heal him. So, how many people do I need? I can have Oswin back up. I need to steal. I need Priscilla to do this, obviously. We'll start here. So... Can you pick up Priscilla? No. Can you pick up... Actually, that doesn't matter. Can you pick up Priscilla? You can pick up Priscilla. Okay. That's good. That should work. So we're going to go... Steal Mr. Elysian Whip. 
Now, you're gonna back up and kill this guy, hopefully. Okay, that's a good hit. Maybe I should have had Sarah do this. Sarah's a little more bulky. I actually could have maybe just like kept Sarah there. I think Priscilla's in too much danger. Like, how much res does Priscilla have? Seven, but there's no way. Yeah, these guys hit pretty hard. Yeah, Steel Lance is too scary, I think. Okay, so then, yeah, you pick up Priscilla. You need to kill this guy. Well, <laughs> okay, I guess that's good enough. I think him not dying is okay. Would have certainly rather watched him die, but... Okay, solid level up. He's still a little screwed on defense and strength and stuff, but... Um, yeah, actually this is fine, because you can only get to them. Only one person can get to Matthew. Yeah, this should still be fine. He'll probably attack either Marcus or Sarah, but those are both okay options. Yeah, we should be good. Again, this is why this chapter can be a little bit sketchy, because these Pegasus Knights have, like, free roam. Yeah, this long okay, that's a good miss. You can you can tell here, by the way, how shitty the longsword is in this game. I did remember that there was a longsword, longsword guy in this chapter, but it's so crappy with times two might that, like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, he does deal a little bit more damage than the other mercenaries, but it's not enough to really concern you. There is a definite chance that Marcus can die here if, like, everyone attacks Marcus, but... Unfortunately, that's just kind of how this chapter goes. Oh my- oh my god! So our Marcus is just nuts, apparently. That's the second good Marcus level up. It's- it's pretty rare to even see one good Marcus level up. Let alone two nuts Marcus level ups. Well, I'm not complaining about that. That I am very happy to see. Wow, and Osmond doesn't get doubled. That's kind of crazy. That's a great Osmond level up. Holy crap. Oh, hi, Marcus. Yeah, very good Marcus indeed. It's a great Osmond too. You know, we may have lost a lot of our characters, but we have a decent amount of pretty solid looking ones. I will say, I was thinking about this last night. There are very few Heroes Crest users in this game. So like, there's Raven and Guy, of course, but they're both dead. Then there's Dorcas and Bartry, but I, we haven't trained any of the, either of them. And that's it. Those are all the heroes, unless I'm missing somebody, those are all the Heroes Crest users in the entire game. So we really have no one to use our Heroes Crest on at this point. Unless I'm just like completely re misremembering and, and there's somebody else, but. On the plus side, that means we can sell the Hero's Crest for money. Actually, Marcus getting another point of strength is pretty good too, because potentially as the if the Silverlands crit is the approach we want to take on that one chapter, then um, yeah, getting that extra strength to hit really hard. Also, another point of skill increases that, I think, by one percent, or maybe it's not quite one percent. Sell it? Yeah, it, it'll be good money. At the very least. Okay, we're in a bit of a pickle here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'd love to give Lynn a kill here. Let me drop off Priscilla. We don't need her randomly on Lynn anymore. So let's go... I'd love to kill as many of the Pegasus Knights as possible. Killing Pegasus Knights is really important. Yeah, this should work. I should be able to kill every Pegasus Knight this turn, I think. Without too much issue. I suppose the problem with doing that is now Sarah... Well, Sarah should be fine. Yeah, actually, we're looking pretty good. So let's kill here. Perfect. And then let me chuck a javel... Or two javelins, I suppose, at this guy. Once all the Pegasus Knights are, are dead, we have to worry a lot less about our healers and Merlinus and stuff in the back. And then chuck two javelins at this guy. <clears throat> I wonder if Florina could kill that archer. That would be pretty cool. Actually, that would clean this up really nicely if we could do that. Oh my god, Florina, you're so good. Yeah, yeah, that works great. Okay, so then you kill here.
And then I can heal Marcus. And I guess also make sure he has a Lance. Yeah, he does. Perfect. And he has that long sword now. <laughs> really useful. What is Marcus's uh, Lance ranking at the moment? He's S. Okay, so that means he gets the, the crit bonus. Yeah, he's 13 crit. Okay, perfect. So then Flurina is going to kill this archer, which is good because not only does this mean that Flurina can go out here without having to take a bow hit, but also there's no two range people to attack Sarah. So all good things for sure. That guy has a Lance Reaver, apparently. Well, thankfully, that's a Lance Reaver and not a Lance Slayer or whatever. I mean, that, that weapon doesn't exist, but shouldn't just get obliterated. Hey, Tiago, welcome, welcome. Wait, is there a chance? Uh... Oh my god. Yeah, there's a chance that she dies. No way. She has to dodge this. Oh my god. Okay, to be fair, that to be fair. That in order for her to have died, that would have been what four like 50% in a row. But yeah, that was oh god. Never pun never punished indeed. Being punished in a Fire Emblem game for bad decisions is just playing the game poorly, truly. Cry at the sight of the blade. The blade. Oh man, okay. Well, thankfully that didn't happen. That was that was really scary. I will I will admit. That gave me uh that gave me some slight panic. I really did not want to uh to lose her there. Yikes. Yeah, I did not realize that guy had a Lance Reaver. That would have been funny if we lost another unit to like a Reaver type weapon. By funny, I mean really unfortunate, but uh, didn't happen, so we're okay. Oh my god, that guy's crit. Um, yeah, just can you just kill this guy? Because apparently he's the most terrifying person in the universe. Oh, Tiago, thanks, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're okay. Everything's okay. Everybody calm down. <laughs> All right, let me do some shopping. We actually have some money right now. So give me a couple more heals. Uh, give me a couple of fluxes. Like two fluxes, and then we have we have the flux. Yeah, we have the flux that um, he started with, and then we we just got another flux. So we should be pretty good as far as that's concerned. Let me get some javelins as well. Um, I don't even think we really need swords anymore, to be honest. Yeah, this shop sucks. Other than iron swords, there's really nothing to buy here. There's javelins. This army is depressing. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> kind of true, but sad. Is Kanas still alive? Yes, Kanas is still alive. I just didn't deploy him in this chapter, but he is still alive, and I do plan to use him. Um, but Lin is our last opportunity to get some kind of like a crit weapon to attack Kashuna with, so I was planning on training Lin a little bit, although it hasn't really uh, panned out. Hey, Delusions, welcome, welcome. Reach S rank lances. Um, I think she can, especially in the next chapter. If I if I use her a bunch, how close is she to promotion, or how close is she to the next level? I kind of want to wait on promotion, but yeah, if we're serious about Kashuna, then I, I need to just promote her now. the The boss doesn't drop anything, but you can steal a guiding ring, which we can potentially do. The goal is to do it. I don't know if that's gonna, you know, work out for us. This guy's an Iron Lance. Ugh. I really want Lin to kind of choke this point and get experience, but I don't really trust her fighting a guy with an Iron Lance that much. Let me... Actually, healing might not be the best idea. Nuts to in Flux. I don't want to do this. This is where things become a little complicated in this chapter because of all the flying enemies. Here, let me murder this guy. Seems good. You can see Marcus has 13 crit all the time now. Actually, can I get... Yeah, can I give her one of the javelins? That would be good. 
Here, get, take a couple. No. Steel Lance is 16. She does have no, she has seven defense. It's actually not that bad. So so nine res means five damage plus um, seven damage is twelve damage. Uh, hold on. Plus six is eighteen. Plus eleven is twenty nine. Okay. So if I just kill this guy, ye, can I pick you up if I? Mm. Well, actually, no, I don't have to get hit. I have to trade her off of that, though. Well, how much wood do you have? Yeah. I suppose we could... Um... Hmm. What's the best way to do this? I could pick up Sarah. If I do this, trade heal, pick up Sarah. Yeah, that should work. That should work. Okay, let's do that. I actually don't even really need to heal, but I can. Hypnotize <laughs> regularly? <laughs> so it feels like that's almost the goal of the stream at this point. Hypnotize <laughs> weapon rank. 70 weapon experience? Okay. That is a lot. That is quite a bit. Okay, give me... Yeah. Take her... Oh, what? Okay, I did trade, okay. No, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay, should be good. This is zero. Yeah, that is true. Although Florina also, I think, pretty much has zero. She's weighted by seven, she has nine. But yeah, as far as speed and skill is concerned, yeah, they may as well be zero for sure. Actually, we could, if I just put Lynn, like this is too dangerous for us, she can't even kill. Oh my God, she's so bad. If I just put Lin, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, no. If I just put Lin like here, 13 plus 14, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so if we do this, and then Priscilla, I don't know, just back up, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Okay, should be good. I'm really scary, or really scared to use Lin in this capacity, but. So that, so that was a fucking lie. <laughs> I'm upset to hear that, Mark. Funes <laughs> strength growth. She is a god. That is very true. I mean, she has like 16 strength or something crazy right now. Wow. That's interesting. This guy, I mean, don't get me wrong. We did the math. Florina could not have died this turn, but this guy still decided to attack Marcus over Florina. I'm not sure I would have made that decision. Fortnite shifts in four tragedies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Mark. Four tragedies. That's a bummer. Florina's plus three on strength. Oh yeah, no, she has a ton. She has like the same amount of strength as she does speed. It's crazy. Which, who knows, maybe we get a lucky crit and uh, and that strength ends up mattering. I'd love to give her, like, if we can get her, like, one more level this chapter, I'll, I'll feel pretty good. About our situation. Which I think we'll be able to do. And in fact, because Florina's doing a really good job of clearing out these shamans, um, we might even be able to steal off the boss. I don't think that's, like, impossible. Normally this chapter is a little bit annoying because you have like Hector, Marcus, and Oswin. And Marcus can't do well against these shamans, but it's always a little bit annoying. But Florian is doing a really great job here. In fact, maybe I should have Marcus push the boss and then Florian can actually like fight the Pegasus. And, ooh, I actually kind of like that. Normally I, I never use Florina very much, so I never actually can fight these Pegasus Knights before they get to the boat. But actually, what if we have Florina go like here? And fight the Pegasus Knights, and then that'll free up Marcus to just go after the boss. I actually don't hate that. I'm gonna heal her before she leaves on her on her journey. Because the prop this is why getting to the boss is so difficult, because if you send somebody over here, you always have to contend with all the shamans and the Pegasus Knights. But if Lorena is just murdering all the Pegasus Knights, we don't have to deal with that, so. Oh, you don't currently have a javelin. Okay, well, can we change that? Yeah, let's do... 
Here, you go here with the javelin. Actually, let me let me do all the other crap first, because we have to make sure that I might need an Osman actually, because our, our crew back here is pretty <laughs> pretty atrocious. Can you double yet? Nine speed. Five speed? I think so. Let me heal Lin first. That seems like a good place to start. Yeah, the ship, that is a good point. That is a really good point. The ship is going to appear very soon. And we do have to be aware of that. I'm thinking if Hector stands in front of Lin, we should be good over here. I don't know if it, I guess if it comes on enemy phase, we actually could be in a pickle. Okay, Lin, that was very good. It almost like hurts to, hurts to say that Lin did something good. Oh, you don't double. Oh, apparently I can't do math correctly. Do you really not double? Eight speed. So that's five speed. Yeah, wait, do you get weighed down? No. Am I just crazy? Oh, he has nine speed, not eight speed. So he has six speed. Uh, okay, that's what that's what I messed up. But I healed Lin, so this is actually probably okay. Yeah, the safest approach is to do that. But I'd really love to move up Oswin. <laughs> like, if I do this and I don't kill, is it dangerous? Not really. Yeah, okay. That's true, the Myrmidons do have armor slayers. Although, to be honest, I'm not even sure that an armor slayer would be able to do any damage to Hector or to Oswin. I don't think we're gonna find out, but so eight means 16, 16 plus seven is 23. Okay, so even with the armor slayer, it would deal 23 minus 18, it's actually 19 because of weapon triangle, would deal four damage to Oswin. And this guy wouldn't double because he gets weighed down. So even though it is something we should be cognizant of, it, it's actually like pretty weak. Because Oswin is just that much of a beast. Okay, so you can get to basically everyone, but you can't kill anyone. That's the important bit. I could have Oswin go over and kill this guy, but I think I want to be a little bit greedy here. Armor Slayer is not effective against Hector, right? That would be weird. Am I crazy? Armor Slayer is not effective against Hector, right? That's not a thing. Can I look up Armor Slayers really quick? Because he's... He is kind of a knight, but he doesn't count as one. Because that's actually pretty scary. Well, I wonder if it'll tell me. Swords. Effective against armored units. Uh, he's kind of an armored unit. Oh, it's effective against promoted Hector. Ah, okay. Okay. That's good to know, because I definitely don't want to do this if this is effective, because then it will actually deal pretty good damage. So 15 minus 11, so Hector should be fine. Okay, let's just do it. Oh, that's your last javelin? All right, you know what? Let's just be safe here. Let's not, let's not do anything that weird. Yeah, just kill him. Just kill him, just be over and done with it. I do still need a javelin. Oh, I gave two to Florina, didn't I? Yeah, that was... It's not looking like the best decision. Okay, just do that. That should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, that makes sense. I think you guys are right, if I remember correctly. Yeah, no effective damage. I knew, I remember that like some version of Hector got effective damage against from like armor slayers, but I couldn't remember what it was exactly. I should have given Flurry a vulnerary. That would be really useful here. It's kind of interesting that Hector's promoted class counts as an armored unit, whereas Hector's unpromoted class does not. It's a little weird. Seems like he's kind of like armored, you know, both times, but what do I know? Now, the boss does not move. I don't think he ever moves, like, even in the last couple of turns. Which means that stealing from him is, like, definitely something you can do.
Okay, it's fine, obviously. It also means that we have to get Matthew over there. Okay, this ship still has not shown up. That's okay. So, let me do this. This will really work. Um... Could do this, I guess, and then just heal. That's yeah, probably fine. Should exactly how armored he was allowed to be. <laughs> how armored he was allowed to be. Okay. <laughs> okay. Press monitor friendly is for finally disclosing whether or not a, a unit can move. I agree. That is definitely really a really nice feature. I like that a lot. Supreme the enemy turn? Okay. Then it's good that I move back Florina, just in case. I think we're probably okay either way, but you never know. He <laughs> covers his front half. Um, yeah, I don't want Matthew to go there. Matthew, just move up a little bit. Something like that should work. And then... Should... Yeah, this is probably fine. I need to be a little bit careful of this guy, because Lin can't, I think, take two hits. Can you kill if I do that? Probably, right? Yeah, why don't we... Why don't we see if this hits? This is a good place to start. Yeah, well, that's kind of unfortunate. Um... Huh. That might not have been the best approach. Um... Huh. Can you take a hit? Hold on. 14 minus 4 is 10 plus 10 is 20. God, that's so sketchy, but it does work. Because I want to heal Hector. I guess I don't really need to. Yeah, whatever. Let's just heal Hector. So go here. And then do this. Okay. We should be good. The jagged now I should start getting jagged level ups. It seems that way, doesn't it? I don't love that. Oh, this is fine. Unless I, like, really misunderstood who else can get to Matthew, but I think we're okay. Again, this is why this chapter is, like, so sketchy to do all the stuff you want to do, because... Okay, so unless I did math wrong, the Pegasus Knight should be able to deal 10 damage to Lin, which will not kill her. God, I hope I didn't do this wrong. Okay. Ooh! And a double crit! We love that! At least Lin's getting experience. I mean, it's terrifying, but <laughs> she is getting experience. I'm scared shitless every time somebody attacks her, but... <laughs> Lin popping, Lin popping off in, indeed. At least offensively she can be okay. Defensively she is. I think a liability is probably putting it, uh... When do, when do I get, do I get another, like, angelic robe at some point here? Item locations... Um, Isadora comes with an angelic robe, that's right. Okay, I wonder if, maybe if I'm serious about using Lin, I should give her the next angelic robe we get. I don't hate that. I hate Lin, but I don't hate that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we should have a pretty clean way to get to the boss at this point. I just need to pick him up. Can he get there next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, perfect, okay. Yeah, okay, so go there. I'm gonna heal you. Experience. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, let's kill this guy. I didn't quite mean kill him in one shot, because I wouldn't mind giving Lin a kill here. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I could just kill him and then have Lin start fighting the mercenaries. Experience. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't kill the technician. Luna could probably kill me. She has a shit ton of strength. Her final words were, it's adorable. Aww. <laughs> and then she killed over. That's great. So I could, I could have Florina just, I don't think Florina's going to be, be able to get another level though. I wonder if Florina can fight this boss. Could just kill the boss. Uh, Florina, just stay where you are. Yeah, ju just hang out where you are for the turn. Actually, yeah. And then we'll do this. I think that should be good. Hector, you can come over here, I guess, if you want. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> Matthew said, Victoria's full. Ooh, yeah, you might be right, actually. Because I think I did shopping with him, didn't I? Yeah. I should, I should definitely get something off him. Turn 10. Oh, is it turn 10? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was this turn or next turn. It should be... Or maybe it's two turns for now, actually. I know the reinforcements keep spawning from the ship, and I think some Pegasus Knights are going to keep spawning. Which is why this gets a bit annoying. But we should be able to steal the Guiding Ring and rescue drop Mar um, Matthew. Yeah, yeah. We should be able to do it all in this turn. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so let's... Give me the heal staves. Yoink. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you. <laughs> Look at the... Dude, the like disparity between skill and speed on Matthew is just crazy. Is he supposed to be this skill screwed? I'm actually kind of curious. Where's Matthew? Okay, as a level 11 thief, Matthew is supposed to have only like seven and a half skill. So he is a bit screwed. I guess he is like three and a half screwed, yeah. He has one strength bless though. That's pretty cool. Zoom! He is fast as hell. I definitely think we're fast enough to steal the, uh, the silver card at this stage. I feel pretty confident about that. Okay, let's do the same thing we did last time where Flurina can aggro a lot of these Pegasus Knights. Or Peg Knights, as we like to say. To go like one short, right? Do they all have Steel Lances? No, it's just Iron Lances at this point. Yeah, should be good. I wonder if I can kill the boss with Florina. Again, Luna is just so terrifying to go up against because of the crit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but you never know. This guy's gonna be annoying for sure, so is that guy. Probably gonna have, Lid probably can't do this forever because of the Pegasus Knights. But, for right now she can. Can you heal the, like enough? Eight magic means 18 health, that should be enough, yeah. Okay. <laughs> peg v peg action. 70 skill. Yeah, yeah, her his uh his skill growth is pretty nutty. Okay, Lin should be fine at least for this turn. Somebody needs to kill this guy. I guess it's gonna have to be on Hector. I don't think Hector has hit a thing this chapter. The poor chapter was so funny to watch. That was yeah, it was certainly something. It was a bit bit of a nightmare. I'm glad you enjoyed it at least. Welcome, Cabbage. Okay, so it should be good. Merman doesn't double lit. No, he shouldn't be able to. I mean, Lin is really fast. And also, the, the Mervanon, I believe, has a steel sword. That guy, by the way, has a slim sword, which is why he's so crappy. Nice. Well, we never get to find out, but I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have. These level ups, man, they're, they're not it. Thunder Tool Flash versus this Hector? Yeah, feels bad. Oh, that guy did have a Steel Lance. Okay. There's no way Flurina dies here, though. I thought I checked them all and they all had Iron Lances, but I guess I didn't check this one. Should be okay. Because, yeah, these guys just have Iron, so. These two I definitely checked.
Some sort of GBA titles exist. Um, I don't know about Slim Swords. I think Slim Swords are always pretty crappy. Slim Lances, I think, are pretty good. Specifically on Pegasus Knights, but... Uh, I feel like Slim Axes could actually be useful. Obviously, that doesn't exist, but... Could actually be useful because the hit of Axes is so bad, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've ever really, like, found a use for a Slim Sword. That doesn't really seem like it would be... Yeah, particularly useful. Okay, this is a bit of a sketchy situation, mostly because of where Sarah's positioned. Hit missing this um this mercenary is kind of unfortunate. Um How do I want to do this? Is Matthew hurt? No, okay, that's good. So I could drop Matthew here. Yeah, probably like drop Matthew here so that Marcus can actually do things. I guess Marcus probably could have killed this guy anyways, but hold on, what's your movement? So we do something like... How much res do you have? Z literally zero. Okay. Oh shit, that's not good. Okay, so we go... Like this... Wait, is Hector in danger? How much res do you have? Three? Uh, so that's ten. Oh god. That's not good either. Maybe that was the best idea. They do have a little bit of bonus crit, yeah. I think all slim weapons have like a tiny bit. I suppose if I... I suppose we could do something kind of weird here, and I go like... Oh god, you can get to Matthew? How much do you deal? Okay, we have a slim sword, so we don't care. <laughs> I suppose if I do this... Yeah, I think we can figure this out. Different axes in this game. Yeah, axes are definitely better in this game. I think slim axes would be pretty good in from six, but definitely in this game, yeah, not that useful. How much? How much res does Sarah have? Ten. Yeah, so she's chilling. Okay, no, she's chilling. She's chilling. I don't know what I'm worried about. So this chapter be sneakily difficult. I yeah, I agree completely. This chapter's no joke. If you don't take this chapter seriously, it will uh, it will beat your ass. I think I'm like kind of obsessed right now about healing, but I don't really need to. So like the shamans, yeah, I think that's definitely the right approach. No, the boss uh, the boss doesn't move. I think even in the end he doesn't move because you have nine res, which means five plus five. Yeah, so we're good. Unless the boss decides now is the time to move, but hopefully he didn't suddenly decide that. <laughs> Good, uh, very good. I was going to left the way. Well, the left should be good. I mean, this guy can get to Matthew, but other than that, it's good. Unfortunately, Osmond doesn't have the movement. Also, I need Osmond over here. Because we're starting to get into a bit of a pickle. Yeah, if you want to attack Lynn, that's fine. But I do have to back her up, I think. And then I'm going to heal her, of course. I don't know why I keep using Mend. I've already determined that Priscilla can just use normal heal and it's enough. I don't know why I keep using Mend, but... Here, and then I think I'm gonna have Oswin. I want Oswin to take as much aggro as possible, so just go there, I guess. Okay, we should be good. Unless the boss decides now is the time to move, we should be okay for this turn. Yeah, no, this chapter's no joke. It is for sure no joke. There are a lot of reinforcements that come from a lot of angles. This is why I usually just forego the guiding ring on this chapter, to be honest, because you get into a lot of really sketchy situations like this if you try to um, go for it, but I think it's going to work out for us. Unless, again, the boss decides to move, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. The only thing I'm slightly nervous about is sometimes bosses, like, won't move and then on, like, the last turn they'll decide it's time to move, but I don't, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Luna in the game, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, is absolutely terrifying because it completely nullifies your resistance. So there's no way to have any defense to it, even if you have good res or like barrier or something. And it has good uh, might and a bunch of crit, which means there's basically no way to avoid. If you just get crit by Luna, most units will just die straight up. 
The nice thing is that there isn't a ton of Luna in this game, but this guy has Luna. So like, for example, we can see what Florina would look like. Yeah, I mean, nine crit isn't a ton and he, she can certainly kill, but it's definitely sketchy. Is on the scary scene to face, yeah. I agree. That's the thing, people talk about Valkyries in this game. And Valkyries are really fast and annoying, but dude, Luna Bishops are the most annoying thing in this game for sure. Because there's just nothing you can do. Like, almost no unit can actually take a Luna Bishop hit. I do kind of want to do this, because I feel like we'll get a level, but... It's pretty sketchy. I mean, it's 9 crit. I probably just shouldn't. It's probably just not worth it. Okay, Matthew, you can kill this guy. Oh yeah, we, <laughs> if I was, that's a good point, but if I was gonna do that, I was definitely gonna heal. That would be really bad if she just died to not even a crit. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna, uh, I don't think we're gonna do it. I don't think it's worth it. I do not think it's worth it. Clarina can just fly over here and murder this guy if she wants. Yeah, that should work. And we did all the shopping that we wanted to do, so we should be good on that front. And then yeah, just kill the last bishop, or the last, uh, um, <laughs> Shaman, whatever the name of this unit is. Yeah, we definitely don't want to lose Florida like that. That would be very unfortunate. And then yeah, Oswin should be good here. You can just, I don't know, do whatever you want. The world's your oyster, my man. And then, yeah, Lin can kill this guy, and then we can heal, and then we should be good to go. We got Lin, uh, I think, two levels, which is something, at least. It's not amazing. She did get a point of strength, although even at this point, a crit with the Manicotti will be, like, six damage or something, I think, which is not great. Yeah, because it would be two. It would literally be six damage. Like I said, there's like a weird chance that the boss will move on like the last turn here, but I hopefully he doesn't. I don't know. In terms of those Christian church dudes. Look, whatever they are, they're terrifying. That's all I know. Druids are also like, honestly, one of the scariest units Druid might be, like, the scariest unit in all of the GBA games, to be honest. Sit crit when you're already killing him, Oswin. We love that. Like, I guess, I don't remember Druids being particularly scary in Sacred Stones, but... I'm trying to think of what other unit... I guess, like, Wyvern Lords are pretty scary all the way around. But I feel like Dru Druids in Fire Emblem 6 and Fire Emblem 7 might be, like, the scariest unit type in both games. Yeah, I can't think of another unit that's, like, more terrifying. We did it! Oh, yeah, I'm back. Now, who wants to die first? Get him, boys. Yeah, Luna's really bad in Sacred Stones. I don't think Druids are very good in Sacred Stones, but I can't think of, a, of a, like, a unit type that's scarier, like, overall in the GBA games. Haha, <laughs> we've routed them. Thanks to your quick work, we've managed to survive. I mean, Florina could have done that. Ah, Ninian, you can't come out yet. Suresters and Berserkers in From 6. I don't I don't think those are that scary in that game, though, to be honest. I don't think anything is more scary in that game than, like, capped magic um, druids. Because they not only can they status staff anyone they want, but they can also, like, Nusferatu druids in the endgame are, like, unkillable, basically, if they hit. I don't think Berserkers are that scary. Axe hit is just too bad, I think, for Berserkers to be scary. Maybe Swordmasters, but I definitely think Druids are the scariest in that game. You can't come out yet. There's blood everywhere. Blood? Look out. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay, Ninian? Ninian, is that me? Is that my name? Ninian, that's how, um, what's happened to you? I, my head is so foggy. Am I at sea? Yes, we found you adrift in a small boat. These scum were after the girl, it seems. Will you take her with you? The men are afraid she, well, she might be cursed, you know. <laughs> it's pretty normal. Cursed. Are you suggesting we leave Ninian behind? We can't take her with us, can we? 
We're heading for the Dread Isle. It's dread for a reason, you know? <laughs> Regardless, she goes with us. Lindis. When I saw her, I remembered something. The last time I saw Ninian, she and her brother were being hunted by some dark, uh, some dark robed men. Dark robed, are you sure? Yes, I think it must be the Black Fang. It didn't occur to me before, but now I'm certain. How can you be so sure? I can't explain. There's something in the air that hints at their involvement. If it's true that she's likely to be attacked again, almost certainly, we can't leave her behind. I will watch her, please. I understand. We should be by her side to protect her. Thank you. We're all going to that island. Will you come with us? Yes. Please take me with you. I mean, she doesn't know anything, so I don't know why she'd say no. Something in the air. Are you... Are you some sort of hound? Uh, are you mocking me? <laughs> no, the opposite. I'm in utter admiration. I'm in utter admiration. That just sounds like you're mocking her even more. Say, Elliewood. When I left Ostia, I was attacked by a dark-robed group. What? Why didn't you tell me this before? Many people hold a grudge against Ostia. I didn't think, uh... I didn't think it had anything to do with this until now. Hector, do you think? They were all wearing very distinct black robes. I don't know about something in the air, but I'm convinced they were related. What in the world is happening in Lycia, father? The, yeah, the Crit of Berserk Berserkers is scary, don't get me wrong. And there are times where, like, you have to let... Like, a lot of the Berserkers in the game, though... The reason I don't think Berserkers are that scary is because they either, they either have hand axes, and hand axes can't hit anything, so the chances of a crit are is very small, or they don't have 1-2 range, and then you can just pick them off with, like, magic or a bow or something, you know what I mean? But I, I will agree, the crit is scary, for sure. I don't love that. And Swordmasters, too. Yeah, I, I never really found like nomads and nomad troopers to be scary. The more so, just like really annoying. <laughs> but if you if you're talking about the most annoying unit in Final Six, it's nomads without a doubt. I think they are so annoying. They're just like hard to hit. They have good they have good like hit and crit, even if their damage sucks. Yeah, they're annoying. And good movement. We've arrived. Thank you very much. We'll wait two weeks. Finish up by then. That's more than enough time. And I've got a ha half witch sailor who wants to go sightseeing. Come here, dart. I'm here, Captain. Ready to serve. We're pleased to have you. His only redeeming feature is his sturdiness. Maybe he'll come in handy. Come on, Captain. I'm better than that. You've done so much. I can't thank you enough. Come back alive. That's all the thanks I need. All right. Farewell. We'll be back before you know it. Use Dart. We could use Dart. There are good people, even among pirates. I mean, one of the nice things about losing a million units is that it opens up the possibility for new units. And Dart is a new unit. I don't think the old man and his groups are your average pirates. Somewhere within that forest is the Dragon's Gate. Elliewood, no matter what it takes, we're coming back with your father. We'll surely find him. We'll all do our best to make it so. You're right. Let's make uh, preparations to enter the forest. Oh. Dragon's Gate. Ninian, what is it? It's nothing. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, and that's why it's hard to build supports, is that we have to complete this chapter in, yeah, 15 turns or less. So, it's gonna be tough. Um, Hector arrives on the shores of Valor, with a new companion in his numbers. An enigmatic young girl named Ninian, the majority of the island is covered in dense forest. Legend has it um, that no one has ever returned from those dark woods. A dense fog crawls over the party, engulfing them one by one. Cautiously, they move deeper into the trees. Yeah, unfortunately, despite the fact that they just said Ninian was a part of my party, she is undeployable, which is very sad. Shame on you, Marques Ferre. You, fe you freed the girl, or the boy and the girl? I will not let you move unopposed. <laughs> I like that he's just being like a little shit to, uh, to Nurgle. Well, what shall we do, Lord Nurgle? With both siblings gone, we can no longer hold the ceremony. How many times must I tell you, Lord Darren? You're being used by this man. By helping him bring dragons back into the world, you are helping him destroy mankind. Do you understand? <laughs> destroy mankind. Dragons may have been a threat to mankind in past ages, but with Lord Nurgle's power, we've got nothing to fear. Lord Nurgle can control dragons. <laughs> Lord Nurgle, you've lost it. Or you've already lost. I'd planned to start a war in Lycia. The war was plotting... The war I was plotting in Lycia, we've generated a glorious amount of force in one blow. <laughs> what the hell? You were not equal to the task, it seems. Not to worry, I have other means to at hand. Blackhearted fiend, uh Hold your tongue. There is still a task you must perform for me. Ephidel, Lamstella. 
my be my beloved morphs, my beauteous works of art. I have new jobs for you, my pets. First, Limstella, you will go to Burn and contact Sonia. I want to arrange a meeting with the king. Understood. Evidel, take this man, Marcus Laus, and go. I want you to exterminate the mice who've landed on the island. Yes, master. That leaves you, Marquez Ferre. It seems your legacy is one of endurance. The mouse who interfered with my conquest of Lycia is named Eliwood. He should be congratulated on making it this far. Eliwood, my son is here? Stop. Do with me what you will, but let my son be. <laughs> Remember the siblings you freed? The girl's here too. As a matter of fact, she's with your son, Eliwood. Quite a delicious twist of fate, wouldn't you say? This can't be. Eliwood will die in those woods. The girl will be returned to me and the ceremony will take place. Mm, despite those despite those long hours of torture, you remain undaunted. Such courage will make you the perfect sacrifice, Marques Ferre. Eliwood, turn back. Take the girl and flee, please. <laughs> Force! <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this. I must inform Lord Hector of these events. If I hurry, I may be in time. What? Lelia, where are you going? Lord Elfidel, the sentries I'm going to check on. You overheard, did you not? And I had such high hopes for you. Jafar! Ah! The punishment for traitors is death. Uh-oh! I always found this combat to be a little bit weird because Layla... If you look at Layla's sprite, she's an assassin, right? But then when she, when she does combat with Jafar, she's just a thief. That's weird. Ah, uh, Matthew. Impressive, Jafar. Your power is beyond compare. Take this woman's corpse and leave it in the forest. Let it serve as a warning to those fools. Let's get through these woods. It's starting to get foggy. Try not to get separated. Enter and be lost. It feels like we're not coming back. Hector, are you trying to curse us? Are you well, Ninian? Yes, I'm, I'll be fine. I'm chilling. Someone's there. Who? A sentry? Oh no, it's Layla. Layla, is that you? Impressive work finding your way here. Something's wrong, Layla. Let. She's dead. No. This can't be. She was one of our best spies, Layla. When these girls are funny, 70% strength and 0% speed. What the fuck? Somebody was beeping when they did that. I'm sorry, Matthew. Why do you apologize, my lord? Layla blundered, that's all. Matthew, Layla was, she was... After this mission, I was going to ask her to put this life behind her. Waited too long, didn't I? My lord, might I rejoin you later? She has to be buried, of course. Uh, I'll go with you. Let them be alone. There's nothing else we can do. Feels bad, man. Blast. They put her out, uh, out here for us to find like this. Unforgivable, this is a foul deed, beyond foul. Let's go, the foe is somewhere in this forest. We must, um, stop this before any more die. It's a variation of Matthew's already dead. Hector will say he'll bury, he'll bury her next time. Ah, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's not cool, because two people will be dead, but it's kind of interesting. Ah, beware, something comes. What? Nunny? Kya! Lindis, if you value her life, send the girl to me. Ah, you, you're Sakaian. That's correct. I'm Yuhai of the Black Fang. I've been sent to capture the girl and to kill a lot of you. If, however, you hand over the girl and de depart this island at once, I'll grant you your lives. And if we refuse, you know nothing, little lord. Nothing of Nurgle's might, nothing of his terrible power. You're ignorant, and so you hope to oppose him. Your insects rallying against the heavens. Jesus, railing against the heavens, actually. Your actions will change nothing. Speak no more foolishness and be gone. Maybe we don't know what uh, it is you're, we're fighting, but if we flee, our loss is assured. So if we continue to struggle, and we, um, if we continue to struggle, and we may yet prevail, folly. What? Why are you letting me go? Holding a woman hostage during a battle is shameful. You too are of Sake, and I have a, ma a mind to show you mercy. I will let you die with a sword in your hands. Be rest assured, I will kill you all here. But, <laughs> but be of good cheer. <laughs> in dying, you shall be spared the calamity that is to come. Jesus Christ, Ninian, you must hide. We will meet the enemy. Thanks, you high. Okay, so this chapter also is kind of rough and can be very sketchy. 
Um, now we should promote Ninian, or sorry, Florina. We can't promote Ninian. Um, where's the whip? Who has the whip right now? Okay, you do. All right, let's promote her. It's actually our first, oh no, our second promotion. I guess Sane was promoted before he died. What society motherfucker you hide? So this should allow us to start working toward S rank in her lances. God, what a weird promotion. Plus five HP though, I gotta say plus five HP is real nice. It is kind of sad to not get, we do I think get one more point of constitution. More strength than speed. It's just 18 strength, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it is nice to get one more point of constitution. To be fair, getting one point of constitution is kind of getting one point of speed, so that's that's kind of nice actually, but yeah. She's kind of a beast, to be honest. Yeah, I'd love to be able to get her to S. We'll see if that's a possibility. Oswin, I don't think he's going to be able to get to S, so I think I'm going to wait. Maybe we can get him one more level and then I'll promote him in the next chapter. Wow, you can really bring a lot of units. Holy crap. Um, I guess Dorcas could potentially be useful. Actually, Arkent is actually pretty darn strong, but I don't think I'm going to use him. He's pretty low level, but we can bring him. He's not terrible. Yeah, we can check that out, uh, Lord Genesis. We can. Uh, I'll I'll bring Matthew, so we can we can try it. Matthew's really good in this chapter, anyways, because um, he has good vision. I'll bring an axe for dart as well. I like that Oswald bought all these javelins for me, and then he doesn't even have one. Do we still have the um, the horse slayer, or is that gone? I think that was Ot saying. Yeah, it was. We have the long sword. Okay, so how do we kill Yuhai? We have the longsword, and I guess that's kind of it. I mean, we have the silver lance as well. Okay, I guess we'll do longsword. See how that goes. Third more weapon experience. Yeah, we're close. We're close. I'm gonna probably use um, Florina a bunch in this chapter and try to get there. Wait, am I bringing Rebecca right now? Wait, why am I doing that? Let's, okay, let's bring Dorcas instead of her. Actually, let's bring Will. I feel like Will could maybe be useful. So what he means, delicious. What he means is, if we um, if we steal if we steal the Orion's bolt, because normally you get the Orion's bolt from the boss, but if we steal the Orion's bolt instead, maybe the the thing that we get from the boss is the killing edge that he has. So hypothetically, that could be a way for us to get another killing edge. Yeah, we definitely have to be careful with Florina. Although she has she has a decent amount of health to work with now, but yeah. Rebecca for the oh is there a beginning cutscene? All right, if we get something special with Rebecca, I'll bring Rebecca. I mean, honestly, she's about the same as Will. They're both pretty atrocious. Yeah, I mean, we don't know for sure that that works that way, but you know, it's a way to potentially get in Killing Edge, which could be useful for Kishuna. Okay, so I want to heal Florina before I do anything. You can actually, there's a, there's a kind of a little, I don't know if this is a trick, but if you have your thief, if you move your thief around in like this beginning area, you can actually see a little bit more. Like we move over here, no, there's a nomad over here, and then we move up here. There's a Pegasus Knight. But yeah, this chapter's no joke. You definitely have to be careful here. Actually, so I guess Oswin could go over here and then maybe like flurrying it down here. Maybe Marcus takes the middle, something like that. She's level 9? Okay. Yeah, it's a good strategy. And honestly, thieves in general, um, I almost always deploy a thief on Fog of War chapters. They are amazing. I think I'm going to give... Matthew's going to be down there with Florina, so I don't really need a torch. I think... Oh, do I not have a torch? I thought I had a torch. What level are you guys? I could promote Sarah. Does somebody have, you have a torch? Okay, I'm gonna give this to Oswin. There is a chance I want more vision up there, although I kind of doubt it. Um, 
I don't want to do this. Four nomads down there. It's a little scary. We gotta be careful of that. There's also some Pegasus Knights over here. To Matthew for Mega Vision. Does it like. Yeah, actually, how does that work? Does it like increase his vision then like twofold? I guess I've never done that before. I kinda wanna try that. Let's try that. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have Florina actually go to the middle and then like Marcus. Do you think Matthew can survive if he goes on a, a fort, like a fort tile? I don't know. Just 35 avoid? I don't really trust that. Ken has five defense. Yeah, it's not great either. I usually like to get two people on these forts, but I don't really want to send Florina over there because of the uh, the archers. Yeah, I never thought about getting like supervision, but that's pretty cool. I guess Matthew has 44 avoid. That'll go up to 60. Yeah, but his defense is terrible. Yeah. Um. I don't want to do this. I guess if Marcus just goes here, I don't need somebody on the other fort immediately. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, I think we're good to go. Oh, I did not want to do that. Okay, okay I think we're good. Uh, Pano, can I ask you something? Do you think Dart and I have anything in common? What the hell? What? Not at all. Hmm. I don't know. There's something about him. Oh, that's right. They're like brother and sister, right? Somebody was saying that. I'm back, my lord. Matthew, are you sure? You don't have to. What are you talking about? Look at this eerie place, this thick fog. This is exactly why you brought me with you. Yet, if Layla, if Layla knew I was um, shirking my duties, she would never have forgiven me. I'm fine. I'll work twice as hard for Ostia in her honor. I understand. I'm counting on you. As well you should, my lord. Tell me, Layla. This is what you wanted, right? You wouldn't want me to give up. I'll mourn for you when our battle is won. I must fulfill my duty. So rest, I promise. I will take care of everything. What a homie. Isn't a flat number? Yeah, I, I actually... I've certainly played a lot of Fire Emblem when I didn't know that, so... It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's... I guess if I torch here, I should get, like, some decent vision. Oh my god! Alright, well you can just see the entire map! I've never had this much vision of this map before, holy shit! I can just see literally everything, that's crazy! Yeah, I didn't know that, I'm definitely gonna do that in the future. Holy crap! I've never been able to see this much of this map, that's so weird. Giga vision, indeed. Okay, so there's one nomad here, but I don't think he's gonna be able to hit me very hard. Yeah, only 10 damage, that's not that bad. Steel sword, steel lance. Okay, let me heal Florina. Giga vision unlocked. So we get dart. Um, dart's okay. The problem with dart is that he's another one of these characters that. His bases are, like, fine, but they're not spectacular, and you really need his first, like, couple of little ups to be pretty amazing. Otherwise, he'll fall behind pretty darn fast. And he already kind of starts behind, so... But he can be a pretty good unit, if you train him. Uh, sure. It's been so much more feasible. Yeah, it really does. It really does, to be honest. Teach you to sword staff on this map? Um, I think so. I think doesn't no, doesn't Dart start with one? Yeah, Dart starts with one. I don't know if you can get another one, but yeah, he starts with one. But yeah, no, that's crazy. And this map, like I said, is no joke. So having mass um vision is actually really useful. Oh, okay, yeah, you can also get one. <laughs> that answers that question. Okay, I think Oswin has it over there. Everybody else just go down here. Here, I brought a new Iron Axe for you, and... Well, you already have a Hand Axe, but whatever.
Yeah, everybody else go down here and then we should be good. Makes Arcadia so much easier. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna be using that in the future, for sure. I will say, Arcadia, I usually don't have a huge problem with Arcadia because the thief um the thief range isn't too bad, but knowing where the specifically the Wyvern and Dragon Knight, like little squad is in the top left, is actually really, really useful. And I think a torch staff on a thief will probably allow you to see that. So definitely, yeah, I'm definitely gonna use that on Arcadia next time. Oh, the magic torch. Um oh yeah, isn't it like yeah, I think you're right. Doesn't a thief have it or something? I, th I think you're right. Thief torch combo as well. Yeah, I, no, I didn't know about it. I definitely, obviously I bring thieves on Fog of War chapters every time, but I did not know about that. I will definitely be using that, especially on this chapter, because this chapter is a pain, or at least can be. This chapter is really annoying, kind of like Arcadia, because there's Pegasus Knights in fog, which can be very annoying to deal with. The nice thing about Arcadia is there's only like two sets of Wyverns that you have to deal with, and that's pretty much it. There are like mages and stuff, but most of the enemies are just bogged down by the desert, just like you are. Whereas in this chapter, there's just Pegasus Knights everywhere, and Nomads, yeah, and Nomads. And they're like everywhere, they're so annoying. Oh yeah, Ozma's gonna be amazing, for sure. No, that's the thing, like... I, I totally messed up the whole, like, Kashuna thing, but as far as the playthrough is concerned, I still think we're actually in really good shape. Like, our Florina's really good, our Marcus is good, Marcus is always good, but our Marcus is good. Um, our Oswin is really good. I guess that's kind of it. We're a bit thin on characters, I'll say that. But no, I, I definitely think we're uh, we're still in fine shape as far as the playthrough goes. And once you start getting characters like Hawkeye, Pent, you know, you're in, you can usually do the rest of the game without too much issue. But obviously, the whole um, Kashuna thing is not looking very likely. I'll probably have just Flurry to leave for like a minute. I could try to kill that guy, although he's on a forest town. Ooh. Okay, that was terrifying. I didn't realize that could happen. I maybe shouldn't have put Florina there. Okay, I really shouldn't have put Florina here. Wow. That was a never punch moment, for sure. Yikes. Yeah, you gotta be, apparently you gotta be really careful with Florina in this chapter. Holy crap. Okay. You need to not be there anymore. Um... I'm gonna torch here, just to get to more vision. Yeah, we have to be really careful with where Florina is, because this is... That didn't look good at all. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, that's true! I completely forgot that Fiora even, like, uh, or Fiora, or whatever her name is, I completely forgot that she even showed up on this chapter, to be honest. That is a good point, we still have to recruit her. Um, Oswin, you can do whatever you want over here, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, that was that was terrible. She definitely that wasn't even like a, a lot of low percents had to hit. That was a lot of fifty percents. So that was really poorly played by me, but we got lucky. I feel like we've been getting a little unlucky in this playthrough, so you know I don't want to say that was deserved, but I feel like I deserved that maybe a little bit. But that was really bad. Yeah, I should not have done that. This always is a little bit sketchy too because. Depending on which one of these they break. So this, I think this goes this way, I think. Not this way. But I don't remember exactly. I'm not an expert on where the logs fall on this chapter. <laughs> I want to start training Kanas too, obviously. Well, whatever, let's just send... Do I trust Eliwood? He has 30 avoid? Yeah, probably. Hollywood's actually pretty good. And then, if it does come that way, we can have him be there. Should be good. And then I think I'll just... Yeah, this guy is the... That's what you were talking about. This guy is the torch stuff. I think I'll just take him out right now. And that way, hopefully... Well... Should I kill that guy instead? Can you get to flirt? No, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. 
No, I'll kill the thief. I'm not really worried about where that nomad can go. Get the torch staff. Although, to be honest, after this chapter, I don't know how useful the torch staff really is, but... Okay, so you can attack Merlinus, which is fine, and Matthew... I'll just have Kent go here. Should be good. And then, yeah, everybody else. So, Lin stays here. So, you can you can actually train a sword, a good sword user a little bit on this chapter, because pirates are going to keep spawning from up here. So, you can just put somebody on this uh, forest tile here. It's not exactly a ton of experience, but it's okay. Could heal darts. How much defense do you have? Five? Eh, that's probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? And then, yeah, I'll have Rebecca come over here, too. Okay, and then we should be good. Alright, we should be okay this turn. I don't think anything... Unless there's, like, a nomad hiding in the corner that's about to come attack Florina, I think we should be okay. This is good, though, because Marcus will be able to thin out a lot of this stuff. Oh my god, the fighting this guy is not not great. Yeah, we do need to heal Flurry now, but I think Fire is going to show up next turn, so... Okay, good, that goes that way. We should be good then. I will say, uh, yeah, where I put Marcus actually might be a little sketchy. I think I might be a little overconfident in Marcus's uh, abilities at the moment. He can, I think, definitely die this turn. Yeah, eh, it's gonna be close. Fire good. I don't think I've ever really, I mean, I've definitely used Fire Arrow before, but Fire is another one of those units that just kind of comes late, but I know she can be good. Okay, that's good. Yikes. Mark is just a critting machine at the moment. Okay, that's good, because that, mean that, that means that guy isn't attacking Marcus, which is good. Okay, that's a good miss. Little Florina if you don't do lid mode. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. I think Fire, uh, and, or Farina and Fiora are probably better if you don't do lid mode. Florina, I don't know, Florina is still pretty good though. Like, if you do give her some effort in the early game, she will be better than Fire at this point, most of the time. But yeah, I don't like uh, Florida very good on Fanti Lin Man, so I, I could buy that. Okay, this guy's a long way, yeah, those suck. Yeah. I do there was obviously a chance that Marcus could have died this turn, but I think I think a lot of these well, he could still die. Eh. I don't know what the percentage was. That's the thing about Marcus. He's a beast, but his defense isn't it's good, it's not amazing. Oh my god. This this is the best Marcus I've ever seen in my life. Like, genuinely. He's had almost every level up's been good. I found them. These men are Black Fang. Look, everyone, your sacrifices were not in vain. I'll fulfill our duty even if I must do it myself. I am a true knight of Ilya. Okay, this is really good because it means she's right next to Florina and ready to be promoted. Did this guy just not? Oh no, he did, he did. Yeah, this Marcus is nuts. I wonder how... I guess he's probably not that blessed, right? Because there's been a couple of good level ups, but... Level 5. Yeah, he's 2 strength blessed. His speed is where it should be. He's 1.5 uh, defense blessed. He's 1 luck blessed. He is slightly HP screwed. Hey, Azrael, I see worse Florina. Yeah, she just showed up. We, uh, we promoted our Florina Azrael, and she has more strength than speed, so... Kind of wacky. Let's recruit Fiora. Sister, Fiora, Florina, why are you here? I'm with Lady Lindis. What are you doing here? I was investigating the Dread Isle for someone. By yourself? No. There were others. A full unit of Pegasus Knights. We were attacked. You can't mean. I misjudged your, our situation. All of my knights are dead because of me. I'm a failure. <laughs> Jesus. That's not true. You're a splendid Pegasus Knight. I chose this path because I admired you so. Please don't do this to yourself. Florina, please don't cry. I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. The pain of being the sole survivor, it had me trapped. Thank you, Florina. I can see, I can see clearly now. The rains have fallen. Fiora, come and travel with us. 
It's better to travel with friends than to struggle alone. You're right. I hate to admit it, but I can't do everything alone. Nor can I remember my companion sacrifices moot by going home. Or render, not remember. Uh, Florian, please introduce me to your commander. I'll see if I can offer my services for a short while. Alright, we get Fiora. Or Fiora, whatever her name is. Yeah, so Fiora is pretty solid basis, to be honest. Um, I don't think she's a terrible unit, but yeah, obviously our Florina is far superior. Doesn't mean we can't trade both, of course, but... We're playing... Just one more con. One more con is not nothing, yeah. That That is definitely... That could be a big deal. Their whole squad died for the most part. Yeah, I didn't even realize that that was her, like, her lore. Everyone's dead. Okay, let's move up and torch again. Get a bunch of vision here. We do need to heal Marcus really bad. Okay, looks like we've pretty much dealt with everything at this point. Marcus does not have a vulnerary, fortunately. Um, can you kill one of these guys, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. So late, you're good. Welcome, Harful Peach. Welcome. Oh, Delusions, I was just about to mention that. Yeah, why Why does Florian have, like, pink hair and Fiora have blue hair? And they don't look... I guess they both have blue eyes, at least. They don't look like that's similar at all. Yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> I was kind of wondering that myself. Uh, This is kind of bad if I get hit. Can you double? Okay, that works. Do you have a question for Hector? Normally I would agree with you, but our Hector is like, I think a little bit strength screwed, so... But no, on a Nomad with the wolf's, wolf's Beal, it would be, it would have to be a very screwed Hector to not be able to... To not be able to kill for sure. Can I torch... Yeah, can I torch like here maybe? Oh, you don't have the torch anymore. Wait, who did I... Did I give the torch to Hector? Oh my god, I'm a, He has two torches! Why does he need two torches? He doesn't, is the correct answer. Um... Well, shoot, I really wanted a torch, but... I guess just go there, then? I don't know. Could kill this guy. I don't think there's any way... Hold on, 17... No, that's too much, right? No, that only deals 5. What's my percentage here? Oh. 82? Yeah. Even Iron Bow? Another torch. Let's just back up and heal. I, I don't think it's worth it to... Lose him for no reason. Here it says green eyes, so they don't even have the same color eyes either. <laughs> what the hell? Weird. Yeah, Oswin, again, you can do whatever you want. Different ends. Oh, do they? Do they all have different colored hair? I guess that's just a thing that they do. I never thought about it. I was just thinking about that because they were in the same the cutscene together. with Hector and Torch. I could have done that with Elliewood, but I didn't want to put Elliewood out here. The problem is there's like a monk over here. Although I'm pretty sure he's like extremely weak, but I'm a little bit nervous. No, Priscilla should be okay. I mean, she's not going to take the hit well, but she can take the hit. Beard 10 out of 12. Are you referring to my beard or one of the characters' beards? Either way, I appreciate it. Simply Wombat. Yeah, she should be good, unless there's like somebody that can get to her, which you never know. But uh, you? Okay, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh my god, he just obliterated that guy. I've actually been meaning to shave it, but I do like it. Maybe just trim it, you know? Maybe I wouldn't look so unkempt. Just, oh, did she get hit? Oh, I wasn't even looking. That's the Lin classic right there. That's how you know you're Lin gaming. Actually, it's a little bit annoying because I can't heal her this turn. Oh, she can take another hit. Yeah, but she's such a beast that she can take another hit. 
But no more? Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, it's getting to that point where it should should be trimmed probably a little bit, but yeah, not too much. It's alright. Um, sure, we could just use a javelin to be honest. We could miss with the javelin is the, the what I meant to say, but uh... Okay, let's let me get a bunch of vision again. Yeah, let me do this. Man, yeah, this this thief torch thing is awesome. I am I will definitely be using this, uh I'll definitely be using this in the future. Shave off just half your beard. Mm, these are all these are all interesting suggestions that I'm getting at the moment. <laughs> Shave off just half your beard. Then I'll look really good. That's what all the, the cool kids are doing these days. So that Oswin doubles them? Oh yeah. Put a javelin or a steel uh, lance in uh, in the Pegasus Knight's hands and yeah, literally everyone could double them. Okay, let me let me do it up here. Could support myself and others will cry. It would be it would certainly be a, a statement. I can't argue with that. Oh, Vin, I was just about to mention that. Yeah, isn't it weird? Because these two are both female. You can see it on, like, the map sprites. I don't think it shows... Yeah, it doesn't show differently here. But it's, like, the little green, like, headband they have. It's... They're, yeah, they're female nomads. Which is, like, yeah, a bit odd. It's kind of cool. I wish there was more, like, different gendered enemies in these games, to be honest. But... Do you do supports on here? Um, yeah, I, I usually don't grind them, although we've been kind of doing it for this playthrough, but I'll do them if they're available. I just didn't do that one because I wanted to torch, but next turn we can do these two. Do we have any other supports? Oh my god. Hector and Matthew. Oh, Lynn and Florina do actually have C. So oh, wow. I didn't think they would get there. Okay, well, they'll, they'll at least have C. That's something. To Florina S rank? I can check. Would strength screwed? Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think quite a bit at this point. <laughs> I think quite a bit. Yeah, if it ha yeah, exactly. I usually don't grind them, but if if somebody gets support, that I'll do it. How well, strength screwed is he? I think probably like two. I would think. At level nine, he's supposed to have yeah eight and a half. Actually, like two and a half. Yeah, Lynn doesn't need to be healed, although I will send Sarah back, just in case she gets hit again. Because it is Lynn, and you really never know. Mm. You gotta be careful with Kanas, because he's kind of hurt at the moment. Wait for the... Wait, the Lynn Yuri... Wait, what is what is Lynn Yuri, exactly? I didn't know there were different endings in this game, to be honest. Try to use as far as I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. Um, it'd be kind of cool if they had more of those. Yeah, the boss's name is Yuhai on this chapter. If he doesn't know what Yuri is, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Is it? Is that a character? I feel like I know all the characters in this game. It's actually a pretty good level up. This is actually like kind of a bulky lid. It's, it's funny to say that because obviously she's, you know, her bulk is questionable still, but. Let's we'll ship Lynn and Florina together. Oh, is Yuri like a, like. Yuri is shorthand for a lesbian relationship. Oh, I know, I did not know that. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I do want them to support if they can, so. I guess I'm going for the the Yuri ending. I was not I was not aware of such things. I've never heard of, I've never heard of Yuri. But is how is, wait how is Yuri short for lesbian? <laughs> oh, let me check the let me check the rank. Oh, she's not quite there yet. She's close though. We should use her as much as we can in the rest of the chapter to try to get her there. Even Lucius also. Yeah, I could buy that. When I was a kid, I thought Lucius um, was a girl, and uh, 
that there's anything wrong with two men, obviously, but uh, but I, I definitely uh, shipped them together quite a bit. I don't know if I I don't know if I really shipped anyone when I was a kid, but I assumed they were like, you know, together. Uh, I'm sure you can just kill this guy. The one male that Florina can support with and they have an ending together. I'm I'm sure Florina Hector support is pretty entertaining to listen to. <laughs> I don't know what happens myself, obviously, but uh Yuri and Yo oh I don't know how to pronounce that. Yo Yoi are Japanese terms for lesbian and gay relationships. Oh, okay, so it's a Japanese thing. Okay. Okay. No, I mean, I definitely believe you. I just, I, I would not have gotten, uh, <laughs> I would not have gotten Yuri to lesbian if you, <laughs> if you just asked me, uh, what that meant. But, uh, okay, we can do the support. Ah, Eliwood, it's good to see that, good to see that you're still well. Mm, you expected otherwise? No, of course not. I knew you'd be fine. Hector, wait for a moment. What did you want? Nothing. It's enough to see that you live and are still fighting. Just wanted to make sure you weren't overdoing it with me, not around. I should say the same to you. Me, don't worry about me, I'm fine. I'm built tough, you know? A little too much is just enough for me. But you, you've never done anything, or you've never been um, a hardy one, Elliewood. Nor are you used to travel. Go on too long and you'll collapse. We're all weaklings compared to you, Hector. Thankfully, wars are not won by strength alone, eh? We've also, or we've been um, sparring once every two months since we were 12. Oh, that's right, we, we listened to this support because he's going to talk about numbers and counting class in a second. And of um, 30, match in, 30 matches, 14 I won, 12 I lost, and 4 were draws. I think not. I recall 31 matches, and even 13-13 split with 5 draws. Yes, well, you recall wrong. I'm in the right. Mm, and what makes you so certain? Whose snoring was it that shook the rafters in numbers class? <laughs> That's right, he talks about numbers class. Ah, uh, good point. Still, I'm touched you were worried about me. Now, back to the fray. Hey, wait. Blast. Curse support routes, Roy and Lelina become cousins. Ugh. Although it seems like Fire Emblem has no problem with cousins, so maybe that's not so bad. Yeah, I suppose with, with a lot of the people being related from this game to that game, you could you could create some weird stuff like that. It's a bit odd. <laughs> Built for tough. Shit shit strength. Yeah, I don't know how tough uh, Hector really is. Our Hector is like pretty speed, uh, strength screwed, so. We would marry Fiora and Hector marry Florina. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. That's weird. That's weird. Let's not do that. We are cousins, aren't we? So Yuhai, I'm pretty sure, does not move, which is good. Did we get to heal Lin? Yeah, the, the thing is, Lin can take one more hit from the pirates, and I'm not actually sure what the pirates' movement is. Like, I'm slightly worried that they can actually move one more and will attack Sarah. That's why I didn't go heal Lin, but... I mean, she's okay. If she gets hit again, I'll heal her. Oh, we should check what, what turn it is. You doesn't move? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I think he'll go into like retreat AI if you give him the opportunity to like go to the fort, the forts that are over here. But yeah, I don't think he moves. Okay, it's only turn six. We're actually doing this quite quickly, which is pretty nice. You are okay. We still have a little ways to go with her. Can I ask? Can you get a kill? Uh, if you're oh, actually, Rebecca, can you help me? Oh, what a homie. You can support Wayne and Lucina, Cousin Awakening, Companions instead of Husband and Wife. Okay. So they, so they learned at least. They got better. We've come a long way from the we're cousins, we're met for each other, are we not uh, segment of Fire Emblem games. You gotta, you gotta appreciate that. They've learned from their mistakes. Okay, let's kill the Nomads, I guess. What's this Nomad? Did he just not move? Shortbow... 
Yeah, Shortbow only has... Yeah, short, there's no way Shortbow's going to deal enough to Florina. Although I think Florina doesn't double. Oh, never mind. Tsugi Midori in, in Fates. I mean, they've gotten better at least. Born Kid Miri, Azura. Oh, are they related? It's not great. If they are related, I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Give away to Lucina as support optional. Yeah, that does seem weird. It seems like if you're gonna, if you're gonna, not that, you know, not that they should have certainly allowed them to marry, but if you're gonna, like, do that anyways, then, yeah, it seems kind of pointless to even... If you're gonna back out and not let them, like, actually end up together, then why even have the support in the first place? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Is there his Korn's cousin? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't really remember much of the story from Fates, if I'm being honest. But that's one of the great things about this series, is when we get to Fates, if we ever get to Fates, um, we'll uh, read through all the stories so we can, uh, we can learn it ourselves. Which is cool. Uh, you're not in danger. Yeah, no, you should be fine. Um, Lin's okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if the pirate can get here or here, which is why I'm not healing Lin, because I don't want the pirate to attack Sarah. And Lin can take one more hit, so... I think we're okay. And yeah, I think that's all I want to do. Oswin is... Okay. I No, I think there's still reinforcements up there. Yeah, I think that this keeps going for at least... I guess I could check. Wait, the only reinforcements according to this are... Oh, turn 3 to 5, Pirate and Pegasus Knight. But we're already past turn 5 and they keep spawning, so I don't think Fire Emblem WD is correct. Maybe this is normal mode and it doesn't understand hard mode? I don't know. So Yuhai has unique dialogue with Eliwood, Hector, Lin, and Guy. Oh, I remember Guy. I fought him with Guy before. This is the last turn reinforcements? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. Seems like that was that was the end of that. Okay, so let's kill here. I kind of want Lin to fight Yuhai, but uh, we love two times bows. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. They're pretty ass. Considering Florina with her nine defense or whatever is looking pretty good. Who is Guy? I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's irrelevant at this point. So the only problem with getting the killing edge, maybe we maybe we can manipulate him to, to do it. I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. One, two, three, okay. I don't want Yuhai to attack Flurry now, I'll say that. That that one I would like to avoid. Even though I think she probably can take it okay. I'd like for that just to not happen. Sarcasm, didn't I? I love sarcasm on the internet. It's always, uh, it's always amazing. <laughs> Been for a second, I, th I thought Obvious Screams was like the name of a song or something that was playing. Like, like it was maybe the boss song or something, and I was like, wait, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like, Obvious Screams is kind of... <laughs> Kind of a kind of a sick name for a band, to be honest. <laughs> Obvious screams. Yeah, no, I don't think Yuhai moves either. The only reason I've always thought that Yuhai kind of moves is because, like I said, I think if you give him a path, he will go into retreat AI and start heading for the forts that are up on the the top left. But that won't matter, obviously, for our purposes. The only the only reason that you want to avoid that, if you can, is if he starts doing that, he'll get off the. Um, oh no, he's already on a forest tile. Never mind. Yeah, no, then it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get him to equip. I guess we'll start by getting him to equip the short bow, and we'll see how that works. We'll start there. 
Yeah, we, we can manipulate it, Lord Genesis. We can um, we can get him to use some different bows and see what he uh, see what he does. Hip drip is so it has to be the third slot. Okay, so we would have to. Did you miss? Did you actually miss? I even used the rapier. But you can attack me, right? He can only attack like here. Yeah, yeah, we should be good. I even used the rapier because it had slightly more hit, and he still missed. I love Elliewood. Yeah, we we can we can get him to kind of switch around his weapon and. There's no way this makes sense. Nah, not with that crit. Uh, probably just let him. Yeah, probably just let him attack. Whatever. I don't really want to do that. But I definitely think we can get it, which is going to be good. Eh, I mean, whatever. It might hit. Okay, that. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. I guess. What the. Fuck? All right. Mm, happy about that. So Florina. Yeah, getting to Florina S is going to be tough. I don't really know we're going to be able to do that. I am you high. I am the Soaring Hawk. Come. Come. Can't rely on Kent wants to be on the team. Our Kent was getting really good level ups, to be fair. Okay, so let's steal Mr. Orion's bolt. Okay, so what do I get now? Oh, I get nothing. Ah, okay, so it doesn't work. All right, that's okay. I'm glad we tried. We had 10 uh, free experience for Matthew on the plus side. <laughs> Something lowers the item count. Oh, okay. Well, we tried. Nobody can deny that. At least we tried. Um, I guess... Probably equip your longbow, right? Because that's going to be worse. Very sad. Yeah, we tried. It's not so bad. But yeah, kind of a bummer. Honestly, at this point, I'm not even sure how good a Killing Edge would be. I think Killing Edge Marcus is the one thing I think could be good. That we're not going to be able to try now. Maybe Galaxy Brain. That yeah, would have been pretty sick. Knowledge gain. That, that is true. We know that for the future now. So, I wonder if... Okay, he has 9 might... So that's 25. How much defense do I have? 25 minus 10 is 15. A 15 crit is enough to kill me. Yeah. Okay, I don't love that. Killing Yuhai is actually not easy. So... Okay, let's do this. Okay. get Veda's uber spear ah uh, that makes sense that makes sense uh, I don't want to go there because he can longbow me yeah this is fine back what happened um not much Tiago to be honest we can't we can't get the um the killing edge we were trying to get for the boss but uh yeah we can have Florina attack him also, actually, before we head out, can we do, we should do the um, the C support between Flarina and Lynn. Before I forget. It's been a roll with these levels. How close is he to the next level? The only reason I, I want to do Flarina because she can get more weapon experience, but it kind of feels like that's not going to matter. Security to drop it. Yeah, I, I never knew how to do it. I've heard of people getting the Uber Spear before, but I was never really sure how to do it. I've never done it myself. I know it like involves the mind glitch. I've done the mind glitch before, but never um never to get the Uber Spear spear. I think we're okay. I think it's turn eleven, yeah, we're chilling. That is a that is a good thing to worry about though, for sure. Okay, whack this guy again. Okay, I mean, I think we're okay, but Marcus does need to hit these at some point. Like, we do have to end this. Oh, he can't. Oh, man, that was a bad drop where I just dropped him. Yeah. 
much crit do you have? 30... Uh, how much luck do I have? Probably don't trust that. Yeah, what I just dropped him was really bad. Oh. Yeah, you can't get there. Damn. Um... Shoot. What turn is it? 12? We're still okay. We should be okay. Okay, let's support. Florida, are you well? Lady Lindis, I'm well, thank you. God, I was worried. Or good, I was worried. But don't go out alone if you can. You never know where archers might be lurking. Yes. <laughs> She's taken a lot of archer hits this chapter. Are you carrying enough healing salve? Your weapons, are they all in order? Eh, well, let's see. A vulnery, I, um, uh, my lance is here. And, uh, it's alright, Florina. Take your time. I'm sure I'm here should anything happen. But Lady Lindis, it should be the other way around. I'm here to protect you. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Didn't I always look out for you back on the plains? Remember? Of course, but... No buts. Let's head out, Florida. <laughs> ah, Lady Lindis. <laughs> I think that Florida... Florida is like Lin, Lin's, like, kid. Did you bring your lunch to school today? Oh, so you use the mind glitch, and then that becomes the weapon you get from the from the druid. Ah, uh, I didn't know that. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I was never a hundred percent sure again how you exactly did it. I wonder if we can give Lin the kill. We should be good. Yeah, we should be good on the turn counter. We only need um, we still have like three turns or something. Okay, apparently he doesn't go into Retreat AI. I don't know what happened. I swear one time he did go into Retreat AI for me, but... One, two, three... I guess maybe not. Um, okay, we can try it. How can a proud man like you live as an assassin? I sympathize with Brendan Reed's ideology. He wants to help the weak, to break the overly proud. Discussing this philosophy with Brendan and his sons. Training together, getting stronger together. For me, the Black Fang was the first place. It felt like home. Felt. Is that feeling gone? The Black Fang has changed. Nurgle sent that woman. But it's too late for me to change now. Why? Talk to us. We may be able to help. Expect no quarter merely because we are both nomads. Prepare yourself. God damn. Alright. Good effort. Good effort from Lin. About what I expected. Elliot, do you want to kill him? Sure. I'm searching for my father. If you're determined to block our progress, then you shall be removed. Do your worst. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, well done. You are stronger. Stronger than I expected. Out of respect, a final gift from me. From here, go south. Turn at the rotted tree. Head west. There lies the path to the dragon's gate. Ugh. Rip. Imagine if Lin can actually recruit you high. That would be pretty cool. Holy crap! Okay, Hollywood, calm down. Stronger than I expected, seven damage. That's stronger than I expected out of Hollywood, to be fair. You high. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Do we trust him? He was Sakaian. He would not lie. I at least choose to believe him. Let's go then. To the Dragon's Gate. I don't think he was behind Layla's death. Oh my god, he looks so angry. Black Fang. I don't know who's responsible, so I'm gonna destroy you all. I would love to skip, accept a side quest. All right, this is it. This is the chapter. This is Kashuna. Do we have the tools to kill Kashuna? I kind of doubt it, but with Yuhai's dying words still sounding in their ears, they venture deep into the hor the, far uh, the forest's heart. Lin moves in utmost silence, cautious not to alert any hidden enemy. Following, um, however, following on her path, a new Black Fang shadow appears. And we also get the silver card, that is true. That is true. A great rotted tree. This would appear to be the place of which Yuhai spoke. So if we move west from here, we'll reach the Dragon's Gate, right? Okay, let's go. Hector, hold a moment. What? Walk um, quietly, your armor is too noisy. Oh, how's this? You're still clinking. Um, do you see what I'm um, what I'm wearing? This equipment is not light. How do you propose I walk quietly in this? Stop yelling at me. <laughs> it's because of that clattering armor you're wearing. I'm just saying we have to move cautiously. Nothing more. I know, and I'm saying that I'm doing my best. Quiet, both of you. Armor or no, if you two keep shouting like that, every enemy from here to Foray itself will hear us. Uh, sorry. We must proceed with caution. 
I can't believe Yuhai was the one, was the only Black Fang in these woods. Lord Aeon, we've received word from the Pegasus unit. Targets are approaching from the far side of that mountain to the east. Mm, Yuhai must have failed after all. I'm not surprised. We're talking about the shallow wisdom of a Sakaean nomad after all. He possesses a certain rough talent, but no mind for planning. Our units are in place, are they not? Yes. Uh, good, very good. I'm confined in confined spaces like these, my thunder magic devastates. The battle has already begun has already been won. I cannot lose. Combat is an equation. Those with intelligence have a natural advantage. Those imbeciles will not reach the dragon's gate, never. I will bury them here in the forest. Not your worst romance ever? There's certainly something. Certainly an odd couple. I can see runes. Is this is the dragon gate? Or is that the dragon gate? Ninian, are you alright? Beware, the enemy comes. Enemy. Hello. Eliwood of Foray, prepare yourself. Oof. <laughs> Oof. We won't reach the Dragon's Gate if we stay on the defensive. Hit their commander and attack the runes. Eliwood, is their commander the one in the runes? I think so, it must be him. Looks like he's a pretty solid magic user. Ah, I'm still not confident against uh, mages in their ilk. Is that so, Hector? Perhaps you should hold back a little. What nonsense is that? I can't fight from the rear. No, I just mean that sometimes it's advantageous to... Why waste good breath on words <laughs> when there's fighting to be done? Come on. Hey, Hector. Why do I even try? What a guy. Okay, so... So this is the Kashuna chapter. Now, the question is, what tools do we have to actually kill Kashuna? I want to promote Oswin to just make him as strong as possible, so let's go ahead and do that. We should promote everyone we can, although Oswin's pretty much the only other person I can promote because we have no guy anymore. Or Raven, for that matter. I will say, despite the fact that promotion gains are absolutely atrocious in this game, Oswin still gets, like, knights still get ridiculous promotion gains. Like, they get three speed. Um... Okay... So, you have to do all the damage in one turn? Exactly. That's the problem, is we really need a crit, but I don't really see how we can... Like, unless we get lucky, I don't really see how we can get a crit. But, you never know. We don't have the built supports that we were hoping for either. We have a lot of problems. Not a lot of solutions. I have no better lances, right? No, I mean, I have a heavy spear, but... We do have this silver lance. I think I actually give the silver lance to her. And we do have C support with Lin, so... Maybe that gives a little bit... A little bit of something, I don't know. So our combat units are basically gonna be... Florina, Marcus, and Oswin. I don't really have anybody else that can do anything. Like... There is the chance... Um... Yeah, trading the Silver Lance around turn 3 and leaves after turn 12. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, the, he also comes with really terrifying units. There are snipers in this chapter with Silver Bows that are absolutely terrifying. But this is a chapter where we want... Oh, we also have Marcus. Yeah, I forgot about Marcus. Um, we want to do this chapter as efficiently as possible because we want to we want to clear everything out for Kashuna when we're ready to make our attempt. That's the plan. Um, Here, before we move on... Here, enjoy, enjoy our, here, enjoy our newly promoted Oswin. Um, I am going to use the restroom really quick. I will be right back and then we'll do this chapter.
tout. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the Devil Axe. That's right. That's right. We were going to do Devil Axe. How many killing edges are available? I think it's just guys. I was looking it up, and that's the only one that I found. Yeah, I forgot about the Devil Axe. Because he can use it too. Okay, let's let's bring the Devil Axe. We'll see what it looks like, obviously. How strong is the Devil Axe? 18. So it's 38 attack. That is a lot of attack. Our hit is going to be really ass. But... Leave. So you're saying Kashuna doesn't leave if we kill Aeon first? Because I do really want to kill Aeon to make it safer. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. We definitely want to get flirted to S if we can, which I think we can. Yeah, I'd like to kill Aeon first because it's going to make it a lot more consistent. Okay, let's do it. So you're gonna go over here, I think. One, two, three, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, go up here. Just fight those guys. And then you chuck some ja hand axes. Yeah, whatever you wanna do. Cause yeah, the, the problem too with Kashuna is once he leaves, Aeon will be able to bolting people, which is gonna be really scary. Cause Aeon's not weak. So if we can kill Aeon before we attack Kashuna, That'll be really advantageous for us. I don't really know why I deployed Lin. Well, I guess she still has C support with Flurina. That's something. I don't know how much that really adds, but... It is something. Okay, I might have to heal Florina, but she should be able to fight these guys okay. The great thing, too, for our purposes, is that the snipers and the knights that spawn around Kashuna don't move until Kashuna leaves. So, hypothetically, if we can kill them quick enough, um, we can attack Kashuna and we don't have to worry about them. Because that's another problem that we could potentially be faced with. But yeah, it depends on, it depends on, and this is why I think Florina is going to be really good for this, because Florina can fly, fly over and start dealing with Kashuna's um, soldiers that he comes with, which is also why I gave her the Silver Lance, because hopefully she can start hitting um, specifically the snipers for big damage right after they spawn, because again, we have to kill them, like, as quickly as possible. How sketchy is this for Florina? They all have, like, 18, 18 or 17. So 9 is like, not, yeah, so if, if 31 HP, okay. So as long as one of them can't reach me, I should be okay. And then yeah, I'll send Priscilla back, because she should probably be a healer with Florina. But the way the magic seal works, you kind of need to like heal before he gets there, or heal out of range, because he can't heal once he shows up, at least if you're in range. Uh, sure. Now, again, if we can't make Kashuna work, it's not the end of the world. The run isn't only for that. We can still continue our Iron Man and have fun with our units for sure. But, uh, yeah, we'll definitely give it our best effort to, uh, to kill Kashuna here. Sure, whatever. Uh, Matthew doesn't... Oh, nice. Matthew doesn't need to steal from Aeon, but we can pretty much do that whenever, so... <laughs> we capped speed. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. That's crazy. No other stat is even at 10. And yet he has 20 speed. That's nuts. And she is. She's really close to S. Okay. I definitely think she can get there. I believe. Probably don't want to do that. Oh, this guy's a sword reaper. That's perfect.
Now, in retrospect, I think another potentially good strategy would have been to have trained Lin a ton because she can use the, um, the Medicati, which can deal good damage. But even so, like, I'm not even sure where Lin's... Because you can't promote Lin before this point. So I'm not even sure how high Lin's strength can really get to. So even in that situation, I'm not really sure that training Lin makes that much sense. But we could have. And yeah, I want, I want to make sure that everyone is going because we potentially need to trade stuff. And so even units that aren't actually going to do any combat for us are still going to be useful for this. I think I should have moved Florina one more back because she won't be able to get healed by Priscilla next turn. Yeah, that's a little awkward. It's okay. Could just hope that one of these missed, obviously, but that's, you know, sketchy. Nice. So many knights. Thankfully, this is what 1-2 range is for, for chapters like this. This chapter is like all knights and mages. It's kind of weird. And then Kashuna, of course. Well, we've yet to see a crit out of Marcus, which maybe means he's just saving his big crit for Kashuna. Who knows? One can only hope. Yeah, she can't heal. Oh, man. And I can't even position... Well, I can position... Yeah, yeah, if we did this, I can heal. I want to be able to move Flurry into her max movement every turn, so... This is kind of unfortunate. I probably should have just brought a, a Vulnery for Flurina, and that would have made this a little easier. But Okay, that's S. She is now to S, which, which means that she has 12 crits. Very nice. Okay. Um, can you get... no. Marcus is also a little bit hurt, which I don't love. Sure. And how to train swords. I actually should put a sword on her. I always forget that uh, Pegasus Knights can use swords when they promote. Pegasus Knights and Wyverns, I never remember they can use swords when they promote. What do you guys have? Just like steel? I think I should probably be fine if I just equip the Hand Axe. I think we should be good. Um, we can get this house later. We don't have to get it right now. Well, I guess I'll get it right now. Tja! You're not an enemy. You scared me so. I'm Renault. I'm on a pilgrimage. A bishop? What are you doing here? You don't appear to be with the black-robed group I saw earlier. We're fighting for justice against those monsters. You should conceal yourself, Your Excellency. You can get hurt wandering around here. I'm sure that I can convince you to lay down your arms. That being the case, oh, cannot convince you. That being the case, I will give you this. This is, it may help you live a little longer. Even if you face the misery of defeat in combat, you might yet find your, another road if you, if you but live. You have my gratitude. May you be watched over and protected in your venture. Thank you. You as well, your excellency. Oh, goddess icon, okay. Cool. All right, here's Kashuna. What? The magic power of this place, the source is distorted. I can't use any of my magic. Lord Anne, disaster, a magic seal. I like that he says that like everyone knows what a magic seal is. That good for nothing has shown his face. Curses, I'd not foreseen this. It's an axe user? That's true. Having access to just like a different weapon type is pretty useful depending on uh, the enemies and stuff. The Kyra Ligon's RNG boss, thank you, Kaskin. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. Especially in our current sort of predicament, I highly doubt we're gonna be able to do it, but. Do have conversations with Ronald? Yeah, I was gonna ask Mark, is there is there a different conversation depending on who visits that house? Because that conversation seemed like very specific to Sarah, as opposed to like something else. It would be kind of weird if, like, Marcus entered that house and he began the conversation with, I, you know. 
Got a second for Devil Axe Gambit? Ooh, wait, I might do that actually. A stressful night? Ah, that's a bummer. It's a bummer, Mark. Is he like in your Discord profile pic? Yeah. He is pretty magical, I'm not gonna lie. If you just hold different. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, I was definitely wondering that when we were doing it. I was like, there's no way this is the same for everyone. Like, it'd be so bizarre to see like Hector enter that house and do what Sarah just did. <laughs> you know? Okay, so this so this is Kashuna, of course. He has 50 avoid, which is quite a bit. He also has 13 defense and 52 health, and we have to kill him in one turn. He also comes with these snipers that are terrifying, but they don't move, and neither does this guy um, until Kashuna leaves. And the nice thing is, it turns off the boss's bolting, which is really nice, so... There are some benefits here, but yeah, for the most part, this is... This is gonna be tough. So you said he leaves on turn 12? Is that because it's hard mode? Because this says... Oh wait, what does this say? This says he leaves at turn 15. Maybe it's because I'm playing hard mode that it's different. It turns you into Sarah. <laughs> beware indeed, beware indeed. Yeah, I, I don't think health is going to be that big of a deal for us, though, to be honest. But yeah, we can't heal in the magic seal, which is a big deal. Or at least something we got to be cognizant of. But the dialogue of the person who visits is different. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because the way, the way that Sarah was talking, it seemed like it was just generic dialogue. Like, she kept saying, Your Excellency and stuff. But... I actually should have been a little careful here, because the other guy had a, a sword um, sword reaver, and that guy could have had one too, but thankfully he didn't. But the way that um, the way that she was reacting was definitely different. Okay, we can start making headway on these snipers. Yeah, I don't double, which is really unfortunate. In fact, I can let this guy attack me. Yeah, that's great. Let's do that. The nice thing is that Florina just has some crit now because she promoted. Also, by the way, these snipers are really high level, which means you get a ton of experience. That's a good level up. Like, they're level 15 snipers, which means you get a shit ton of experience for attacking them. Okay, I'll, I'll kill the mages, because the uh, these guys are just gonna... Oh, they all have javelins? I only have four hits of the hand axe left? Yikes. Um... Sure, I guess I can kill a couple at least. Does she count as that for the sword slayer? Yeah, that would have been really bad. That would have been really bad if we just lost the run straight up right there. The other guy had a sword reaver, so he had another point of defense. Holy crap. So I've been really surprised if this guy had the sword slayer, but you never know. Definitely something I should have checked for sure. Here, Lynn, you can finish this guy. Actually, can you get to... No, you can't. Ah, you can finish this guy if you want. Well, yeah, whatever. She should be able to get there in time. Hopefully we can deal with most of the enemies this turn. We still have a decent amount of turns to go. Okay, very average Lynn level up right there. No matter base class, I feel like her base class probably does. It, it would make sense if she was like a, like a Myrmidon, you know. The nice thing is that Kashuna doesn't, even though there's the fort right next to Kashuna, he doesn't spawn in the fort, so we don't have to worry about the twenty extra avoid from that. We will have to kill that knight on the on the fort, but you know, I don't think that'll be that bad. Yeah, I wish I had more hand axe usage, but that's okay. I think I think the turn limit, or like the turns is gonna be okay for us. I don't foresee it being a huge issue, but you never know. Okay, yeah, and this guy should die, perfect. 
And yeah, the whole not being able to heal in the magic seal, I don't think will be a problem because the Kashuna's troops don't move, which means we shouldn't really have to take any more hits. And the boss can't attack me because of the magic seal, so we shouldn't really have to take any more hits. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Yeah, perfect. It's actually a good thing I got that strength level up because I can now kill him. I guess I have to be slightly careful with um, the usage of this Silver Lance. We still have 15 left. Now we're good. We are good. Sure. Tim colors the Paladins. Yeah, it's weird. Having stuff just be like... Um, like effective against armored enemies is really like nebulous and it's hard to like I wish it said deliberately like good against and then X and Y class but it's probably a lot easier to just write good against armors or I mean the armor slayer says good against infantry whatever the hell that means sure yeah that's a good point Vin they, they do move after Kishuna leaves that's why the plan is to kill all three of them well four in total but three now before we actually fight Kishuna because yes, they will um, they will start moving. That's why this chapter can actually be kind of sketchy on Hector Hard Mode because um, those snipers are no joke. Like the great thing about the snipers is you can lure them and then surround them with units, but you can only bring so many units on this chapter. And th yeah, those snipers are no joke, let me tell you. The snipers is quite the experience. Yeah, it is terrifying. They are extremely strong. Silverbow level 15 snipers at this stage in the game is no joke. The support for Matthew and Hector? Um, I don't know. We can check. I think it might have been. They probably have support, right? I don't think the support's going to help us that much here, but, uh, but yeah, we can do it. I kind of want to promote uh, Matthew, to be honest. Okay, finish this guy off. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> maybe we get another point of strength, or maybe skill. Oh my god, this Florina is just crazy. She has 20, so she's gonna cap strength for sure. Okay, let me steal this silver card before I forget. Closer to strength cap? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's nuts. And then, yeah, we can start doing this. Thunder! Thunder, hear my cry. Okay, perfect. Because, yeah, we want to make sure we kill Aeon. Because Aeon might actually be able to one-shot people. So we want to make sure we kill him before we do any of this stuff. Sure, it doesn't really matter. Just need to finish this guy. Twenty-three percent. Yeah. Thunder, Thundercats! And a bunch of Thundercats show up. Okay, I need you for support. So you go up there. It'd be funny if Aeon just like started punching Matthew. Okay, there's the reinforcements. That's fine. Merlinus may very well die in this chapter, but that's okay. Sure. You actually get a pretty decent amount of experiences for whacking people, so. I think next turn I can probably probably do everything. Maybe I'll wait until Sarah's up here because I might want her for um, like trading stuff off. Ooh, okay, I just put Priscilla in a really bad spot, so let's make sure we kill this guy this turn. Yeah, we should be able to. I'll have Flurry to do it. I feel like she has a higher chance of getting a good level up. Actually, no, sorry, not next turn because we still need to kill Aeon. Make sure Aeon dies. Yeah. That's fine. Unfortunately, Anne is a bunch of void. Ah, it doesn't matter. Oswald's a beast. I guess if this 90... No, actually, it doesn't matter. Could have rescued uh, Priscilla, even if that missed. What turn is it? Eight? Okay, we're chilling. Swing races to cicades himself. Yeah, I noticed that when we were playing the uh, the lid mode. It's kind of funny. Okay, let's 
Finish this guy. I wonder if you can do it with support. One, two, three. Okay, should be good. I wish I had a sword. Okay, 71% is pretty good. Perfect. Okay, sweet. This can't be happening. This, okay, this at least means that the obstacle, like, we won't fail this chapter at the very least. Okay, that's fine. Not really that useful. There's really no way, I think, to double this guy. Yeah, he's got too much speed. How do I look fighting him? It's not terrible, and I have all that crit. Okay, next turn we'll try it. Next turn we'll try it. All races look the same. <laughs> all you races look the same to me. That does it. I'm leaving before all my finest goods get stolen. Sorry, Merlinus. That is our first Merlinus death, I believe. Okay. How do you look? That's pretty good. How does Oswin look? 34? Yikes. Maybe I'll just do that. I wonder if we actually have enough attack to kill him just straight up. We might actually... Okay, let's start here. Oh, shit! Oh my gosh, she's so good! Let's go! Oh my god! We don't need... Guy. She got two experience, by the way. Guy, Raven, crit, support. It doesn't fucking matter when Florina's on your team. Oh my god, what a beast! What a fucking beast! Holy shit. That was sick. That was so sick. Oh my god. All that planning, all that effort. It doesn't matter. Holy crap, that was awesome. Sane died for this. She, he did indeed. And sees. Oh my god, that was so sick. That was, that's my favorite thing I've done for a while. That was so sick. Oh man. Florizza, got that Riz. Is everything well? Yes, somehow. Everything is great, Elliewood. Oh my god. Elliewood, I'm sorry. I said things I shouldn't have. No, I was shouting without thinking. I was wrong. Forgive me. No, it was my fault. If I hadn't... It's no one's fault. Who cares? Who cares about any of this crap? It's no one's fault. Uh, there's an eerie power here. Eerie power? I don't feel it any longer, but it was meant to make us uneasy. Was it connected to that area where magic was nullified? Now that you mentioned... Oh my... I just can't... I can't even, like, read the... God, that was so fucking sick. Oh my god. Now that you believe it... It was so, uh, I don't even know, irritable? I don't know what she said. I couldn't let even the smallest thing go by without complaining. Oh my god. What could that have been? The Black Fang, um, couldn't use magic either. So it wasn't an ally of theirs. Who knows? Who cares? It's gone now, so no sense in worrying about it. We should concentrate on pushing forward. Mm. Let's make haste to the Dragon's Gate. Wait, but we- Okay, we still do- Okay. Oh, man. Only to the Pegasus gods. Holy shit. Oh my, that was so fucking sick. Holy crap. Oh my god. That was amazing. Wow, we actually get to do the guy. I, I haven't, I don't know the last time I did this guide in chapter, to be honest. Well, I think I'm gonna end the stream here today. I, I wanted to finish this chapter. I kind of want to do this guidance chapter, but I think we'll save it for next time. Yeah, I haven't done this guidance chapter in a very long time. So it should be interesting. But yeah. Holy shit, that... Oh my god, that was amazing. Considering how much I've messed up this run, to have Florina do that... Oh my god. That was sick. I'm definitely gonna clip- I'm definitely gonna clip that. I'm definitely gonna put that on YouTube. That was- I'm gonna remember that forever. I'm gonna watch that every once in a while. And get hyped. Holy crap. Thank you, Lord Genesis. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, well, on that note, I feel like that's a great place to end. And I feel like, um, so I'll be back. Probably no stream until, um, next Monday. Maybe, maybe I'll stream this weekend. It depends, though. But yeah, I feel like this is a good place to end our week, to end our streaming week. We got our guidance chapter, pretty fantastic. 
This card paying you back for the Raven goof. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I have I have played this this um, playthrough pretty poorly, but I feel like we've also gotten pretty unlucky a couple of times. And like, I feel like we deserve this, you know? We we even had to redo a playthrough. I feel like we deserve this. Through the weight of this run, dude. Flirting is nuts. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed. I feel like this stream was amazing for sure. That that topped it all off. I will see you again probably next Monday. Be back. We'll we'll keep going with this game. So enjoy the rest of your nights, everybody, and I will see you then.